home that I found I saw no shadow but felt a glow The warmth inside me kept me afloat Felt like heaven, I found my bones It gave me comfort when I feel alone Now you're gone, I'm alone I guess it's time to get better The pain, I will go alone If I fall best friend to 23 she left her body and hovered above me <laughs> Best friend to 23. I heard the heavens crying above me. They gained an angel. I lost a friend. I felt like dying again and again. I went through hell, stared at death. But I keep fighting with each living breath. I saw no way out from where I stood. Felt like a fire above me. For now you're gone. I'm alone. I guess it's time to get better. your self-righteous sympathy I would rather let this go than to bring it up again but I 
What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the Burley Fishing Podcast. We're live today. I'm Jeff Burlingame, your host, here with Paul Glass, officially on his computer for moments, maybe maybe mo multiple moments. I don't know. Uh, so today, today we got a special treat for you guys. I posted on Instagram earlier. I said you get one guess. You get one guess as to what we're talking about on the podcast tonight, and nobody guessed it. Surprise, surprise. I had. Just a various accoutrement of baits out on my desk. And if you notice, none of them, it's like jerk baits, there's top waters, there's you know, crank baits, there's all sorts of stuff. Nothing really like coincides or goes together. But here's the deal. Today we're talking about our least favorite baits. <laughs> personally. Personally, our least favorite baits. Baits that have personally accosted us, baits that have have not caught fish, most likely, and just all around we don't like very much right they kind of cause us trouble they cause us problems uh, and maybe you guys can agree with this maybe you won't maybe your favorite bait is on this table right now and you might be a little upset and for that we say sorry but it didn't work for us <laughs> paul says sorry not sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so this is all personal preference this is this is our opinion this is like kind of how we feel about these baits right now we're going to talk to you about each of them individually, why we don't like them. And on a lot of them, Paul and I are going to agree. He has a few on his list that I've never used. I have a few on my list that maybe he's never used. So we can bounce back and forth on that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And as we go through the show today, guys, be sure to comment. This is what I'm making more fun. Be sure to comment in chat. Let us know your least favorite bait of all time, right? There is chat, obviously, ask us questions, throw stuff in there. We want to talk about it. Somebody just said Danny the Duck. Stay tuned. It's happening. Uh, <laughs> he's up there. He just lives up there. I don't want to we take might, him down. <laughs> we might fight. I don't know who said that. <laughs> but we're going to get to that. So hit us up in chat. There's also a super chat feature if you want to contribute to the show. We appreciate anything you do there. You guys are fantastic. I think this will be a lot of fun tonight. So stay with us. Grab your pop. Your dad pop, your mom pop, or your kid pop, whatever is appropriate for you. We're going to have some fun with this today. And of course, if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the podcast, and then follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And we'd love to see you guys more often and hang out. Without further ado, Paul, let's roll, baby. So episode question for this week, and this is something I was actually thinking about, um, mostly because I've been hunting and I know how many trucks, if I see them like on public land, if I see like four trucks where I'm going to hunt, I'll be like, eh, bye. Um, <laughs> and so I'm, my question is how many, how many boats or trucks do you see at the ramp before you're like, later nerds, I'm out of here. And then you go to like your backup spot. Uh, see, here's, here's an interesting little tangent if you possess a boat that does not require a trailer and or a boat that has portable wheels which then will dismount as you enter said watery region you can pretty much do whatever you want so in my opinion i don't care how many boats there are or how many boats how many well boats or trucks or vehicles or peoples there are in a certain spot but there are other things that bother me. So things that would lead me away, cars in a parking lot, not it. As long as I can find a parking spot, I don't care. I can you know, flip my wheels down on my kayak and I can wheel down to the ramp or next to the ramp or some dirty patch next to it. Paul and I have done that plenty of times. We're like, hey, where is a part where there is water meets land and not trees and we can enter said watery region? We do that a lot. Mm -hmm. So the reason, kind of like the main reason I have the boat I have is so I can do that and I can enter water any particular spot I can find. So I'm fine with that. However, if I arrive at the body of water and there are, say, more than two jet skis, tubers, uh, pontoon families, flying flags, <laughs> like cruising around said lake, I'm going to contemplate and probably move away. And I will say there was there was like one time that Paul it was definitely more than one time. One time in my mind that Paul and I went to a lake that we probably should have said, let's go to a smaller body of water. We went on a lake and not only was the wind busting out like 17 miles an hour, not only were there about 1700 jet skiers, not only were there party tunes everywhere, but there was also just 
you know, cruisers going everywhere. There were, there were people, you know, playing volleyball in the water where there was like shallow regions and flats where we could have gotten fish. There was just, it just too many people. We called it COVID Cove that day. It was just absurd. It was like at the height of COVID beginning of summer, super hot, like June, July. I can't even remember what month it was. It was we, just, it was a giant COVID party in, in, it was insane. in an all natural bathtub. So we hopped in the only kayaks in the entire lake. And this is like one of the biggest lakes in Michigan, mind you. <laughs> we were just like, let's go. And we like literally crossed that lake. <laughs> that was the time we should have turned around. Trucks yeah. at the ramp. I don't care. Crazy people on the water. I do care because I have a kayak and I can die. So rather not, if I can avoid it, that'd be great. <laughs> so I will say it's ex- it's experiences like that that when um, when you roll up to a spot, remember that time it was really early in the year. Uh, there were we were the first ones there. We got there 30, 40 minutes before our first light, and uh, honestly, there like it, it was dead empty. I didn't expect anyone to be out there. By maybe ten o'clock, it was like one of the nicest days that we had seen the in the in the year, and and there were probably twenty five boats on the water in a relatively small lake. And when we pulled out, the parking lot was completely jammed. If I had rolled up to that spot in in like early, early fall, like one of the earliest days of fall, I am dipping out. I am legit looking for another spot. When fish are spooky, uh, I'm, I'm dipping out. And the other thing that just kind of sucks is like, I don't go to, I don't go to a lake just to catch fish. I mean, like, that is like the main activity and that is the goal, but that mm-hmm. is not like the only reason that I'm there. I just enjoy being on the water. And that typically does not mean uh, having to cast around a bass boat. That doesn't mean having to dodge jet skis to your point. Yep. Um, that doesn't mean listening to Yamaha freaking, uh, you know, 50 horses revving up like next to me all day. Like I don't, right. I don't even want to see other people. I have to look at Jeff. I'm like, Ugh. And like, that's, <laughs> this guy again. that's enough to deal with. So honestly, I do. There is like a, I just get a vibe when I feel like the lake's going to be like over half full. I'm like, nah, I'll probably, I'm probably rolling somewhere else. The problem with that theory yeah. is I'm an early riser and I'm usually one of the first people out at the, out at the lake. And so I won't really know how it's going to go until, you know, it's already too late. And I would literally right. have to pull out a quarter of the way through my fishing day. So that kind of sucks. But there is definitely like a critical mass where I'm like, see you later. Don't need you guys. Bye bye. And I will <laughs> go and I'll go to a puddle somewhere and try and smash them. Yeah. Chaz says, that's why you throw baits at me so that I will also leave the water. <laughs> get out of here, dork. <laughs> yeah, It'd be great if you could leave. <laughs> Either that or get decapitated. You choose. <laughs> it's fine. I'd like to have, Bye. I want all this water to myself, which is like, honestly, also part of the fun of fishing right now is like, no matter what body of water I've gone to in the past couple of weeks, nobody is there. All the pontoons, they gone. Docks out. Jet skis. No, thank you. Like pretty yeah. much I go to any lake and like, it's mine for the day. I have a, I have, we, Jeff and I talked about going fishing this weekend. Uh, we both already have had our, mb boxes for a little while now mm-hmm. and I, I really it's it, this is like a different this is like uh if you're like a sports fan like april or like october are like difficult months because like you may not know what to watch you'll be like am i gonna watch the hockey playoffs or am i gonna watch like baseball or am i gonna watch basketball mm-hmm. or if it's in october you're like do i watch like a football matchup like w- like what am i gonna watch i don't really know i have the same problem with like hunting and fishing because i'm like fishing is like Yes, it's winding down for bass, but it's winding way up for steelhead salmon, you know, and, and a lot of other you know, walleye and, and and all that sort of and like the perch and stuff. It's like going nuts. Mm-hmm. And so I want to continue to do that. But at the same time, it's freaking cold. So I'm like, well, maybe I'll just go duck hunting and drink hot coffee and yuck it up and try and shoot some birds. Or maybe I'll go deer hunting. Like I like it becomes like a challenge. But that MB box came in and I was like, I, I was going to post this earlier today, but I, I'm like. I was like loading up that box to like prepare to go fishing this weekend. And I was like, I like want to fish this box. Like this is exact, <laughs> like this, this arrived at yep. the right time. It was the right stuff. And like, I'm other than those worms. I'm like, I am jacked up like to use everything in here. Like this is sweet. So what worms? Yeah. 
Oh, the um, Bama, Bama yeah, bits? The, not that they don't look good. They actually look sweet. I like the color and everything. But like, it's gonna be not, tougher. I'm not gonna use it. Like, I'm not. Yeah. I'm just not gonna use it. It's a great stock item, but I'm not mm-hmm. gonna use it. So, uh, but those curly yeah. tails from Chase Baits look freaking sweet. Uh, oh, if yeah. you haven't seen MB Box, uh, they did a Chase Bait. It has like a curly tail uh, grub, and it it's more like shad, really, and it is sweet looking. Um, there was also a uh, like a bluegill soft plastic, and it came yep. with like six of them. And they have uh, they they give you a, a like a sweet hook. I I'm probably gonna use a, a weighted belly hook, but those things look freaking fun. And then yep. the crankbaits are all sweet. Even the house bait looked really cool. So I'm actually pretty pumped up to uh, to get that box out um, out on the water. So uh, I think it, I think it'll be good. Uh, some people, uh, so like B Dooley said, some people got the, uh, smart baits, the color changing baits. Yes. I didn't get any. Did you get any? No, but we're going to have to get some cause I want to yeah. see them in action. I, well, I have really some, yeah, I have some older ones. Chaz, what, what, uh, smart what style, baits. what style were they? Were they paddle tails? I think they're stick baits. Paddle oh. tails. All right. So I've got a couple different ones, like older sample packs from previous boxes. So maybe we, we take those out. We can try them out. Um, yeah, why not? But I also did get, so because I get the, uh, I get a tester box or a sampler box from MB. So I actually have like double most things. Uh, they sent me two different chase baits and also two different colors of those crank baits, the vicious fishing ones. So the chase baits. I did not want the one I got. I did not want. Did you get like the chartreuse or the bluegill? The the chartreuse, which is sweet. It's sweet, but not for me where I am today. I, I have the bluegill one also, one which, one. yeah, it, it matches like one of my favorite color schemes, which is that, that Berkeley grave digger that we have. Totally. Um, but a darker I, version of the, the MB house bait that you got. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I got the paddle tail though from, uh, don't show me that. That's that tech baits. Chaz is holding up the tech baits creature and talk to me about creature baits right now. And we got problems. Was- it looks sweet though. <laughs> I got the uh, Chase Baits paddle tail though as well. So I got the curly tail grubs, and then I got the paddle tail, which is like purple, black, and blue flake. I think we should is... just go and murder all of those. That's gonna be mm-hmm. fun. Yep, it's gonna be fun. They seem hyper durable too. They're actually like the same material as the River to Sea Mad Yabbies, Dude, which means they last a long time. Yeah, you got that top water buzzing warmouth. So that's so Chaz is holding up the Big Bite Baits buzzing warmouth, which is a little bit different. It's kind of like a topwater frog bait, but it looks like a fish. Uh, plastic. And we got the uh, swimmable version. It's just like a small swim bait. But it's, like it's a little, it, yeah, it's a little bit thinner, definitely softer. Um, mm-hmm. I actually really like those. Uh, I actually really like those, that topwater um, Big Bite Baits, I, only because I had really good success when I was intentional about how I rigged up the uh, finesse frogs that we got from Z Man. Oh yeah, like the, three the frog ago. Z's, dude. That that yeah. was, that, that was sweet. Literally, <laughs> those are rad. Rigged it up and just they got smashed. They that was really cool. So it's like a heavier version of that. So I'm actually yeah. I kind of want to get my hands on those too. But all right, uh, any you, anything uh, you want to go through on, on an update for the last like we, we did the giveaway. We did the giveaway. Giveaway has been given away. Uh, Corey Corsi was the winner, so congrats goes to him. Uh, super cheers. And already shipped that box out this morning, actually. So he's going to get that pretty soon. So I'm stoked for him. Got that Busby Colony 15. Oh, Busby was cool enough. Caleb over at Busby sent me another Colony 15. So we're going to give away another Busby Colony 15 this month. We're going to pack it up with baits from these boxes. I can say... This is one of the better months of baits that I've gotten, not including Warrior Tackle Supply. That is not included whatsoever. <laughs> but the other main boxes, it's been some pretty good stuff. I'm pretty pumped. Uh, so, you know, I'm still waiting on like next month's six cents. Should be coming in here soon too. So I'm pumped to see what's in there, but all good stuff. I think, I think it'll be a good box, another good giveaway. And we're closing in on 10K. And when we hit 10K, I kind of like just jumped out there and made a promise because I'm a dummy. And I guess I just like to give away things to people and spend money and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to buy somebody a reel. We're going to do a reel. I put it up at $150 value. So if you want like the new Abu Garcia Zada, if you want uh, SLX XT plus something else because it's $130. Bucks. If you want something that's in that $150 range, 
you got a shot. That's what that giveaway is going to be. So I can't wait for that. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, B. Dooley says the Zada for sure. <laughs> Great choice. Uh, yeah, so we'll be doing two giveaways pretty soon. I mean, as soon as we close, we need another 1,000 subs for the channel. We'll be at 10K, a little less than that now. Um, we'll be doing that. And then we'll do the uh, the box giveaway end of the month. So stay tuned. Coming up very soon. Let's see what's going on in chat. Uh, we got Fishing the Southeast says, don't worry, I'm here. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> Thanks. Happy to, happy to have you. Uh, terrible at Fishing. So he's going after some trout with spinners and rooster tails. Chaz says, rooster tails are good. Chaz, Chaz is nodding his head going, heck yeah. Chaz, Chaz is the trout fisher here. Uh, spin, like spinning gear. Shut up, Paul. <laughs> Bro, I'll fight you over that. Fly fishing. Different, different deal. Uh, what else we got going on? Other good stuff. Anybody else? Anybody else want to say stuff? Give me the Zada. I just see a lot of Zada, Zada, Zada. Give me the Zada. <laughs> oh, enter more. Uh, get your friends to subscribe. Uh, and then we'll get subscriptions. <laughs> oh, Ultimate Ace wants to know how we feel about the Guggen worms. Uh, Chaz is thumbsing down right now. I have neutral opinions on it. Paul? I'm, I'm exactly the same. So I think the one that I've used the most is the Rattling Ned. Um, and I really like it. It's a good bait. I mean, it's a good idea. It looks good. It's not hyper durable, but it's not not trashy um they have good paint schemes i have nothing i have no problem with them they tend to use a lot of black and like really dark dark blue um which is fine but it's not usually my go-to um and they don't do a lot of like neutral like matty like you know non-shiny like color plastic on their body bits no on their uh on their plastics like you oh, okay see, like a matte green You'll get like a nice shiny, like, you know, everything shiny green, but you won't get like a, you know, something muted, um, which is actually, I tend to go for those a lot. Everything uh, is glistening or shimmering. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's like they are they are. I mean, but there's nothing wrong with them. I just tend, I tend to go for other stuff. So they are yeah. kind of expensive. They're not expensive, but like compared to like a zoom, I'm, yeah, I'm, they're... Reaching, I'm reaching for the zoom pack. Like yeah. every time, because I'll get 20, 30% more, mm -hmm. I'll pay less and they will work just as good. So like, I just am typically like drawn to other stuff. Yeah. Um, They're up the middle. They're up the middle I, as far as cost. When I see somebody fishing with them, I'm like, fine. That is what you like to use. Good job. You <laughs> have found something you enjoy. But like, there are some, there are, there are probably a couple packs floating in my boat. Oh, for sure. I mean, we, so we both have used like the, the rattle and Ned's a lot because we use them fishing the the grand river is like a great spot to use them um but you will go through a pack in an hour like my problem is not your problem with them my problem with them is the durability which there's always that epic debate of like action versus durability and like sure they have pretty good action and they got good smell and like fish want to bite them but they last for one fish or less. And that's what bothers me. So if I'm Ned rigging, like the rattle and Ned is great and everything, but you can also just pop that rattle out, put it into a, a, a Z man shark deuce, <laughs> toss that out there. And then you can catch 50 fish on it. Just saying. I have three of those little rattles um, when they don't rip off. And I say mm -hmm. them just for that exact reason. Yeah. But I just have them in my terminal, but comparing anything to Z man is not really fair. Um, I don't think it's not that's apples to oranges. Like in, in all reality, what holds up like a Z man does. I'll wait. Uh, um, like, like tanks. I'm thinking aircraft carriers, uh, <laughs> the no, black box inside of airplanes. I'm pretty Venom, sure. Venom, like all of those things Venom. survive in the same manner as Z man. <laughs> like it's not, <laughs> it's apples to oranges. So, I think compared to other worms, it is to just point. It's right up the middle. I, I, yeah. but like I get swayed by other things. Like I almost, I never. They have like a, they have like an eight inch, uh, they have an eight inch worm or a six inch worm that's got like a long spirally tail on it. Mm -hmm. it looks great. It's always like two dollars more than everything else that's out there. Every is that the, the mondo, the mondo yeah. worm? And I'm yeah. I'm like, this is supposed to be like your deal, and so like I'm not paying for packaging. I don't pay for packaging. So it's I nice end, packaging. I, it's, love green uh, but it you know it ends up i end up buying other things so that's yep. a long way of saying they're fine if you like to use them 
go nuts, my guy. Uh, but I, yeah. I, I tend to end up somewhere else more often than not. But there's another, yeah. if somebody hands me a pack, I'm like, sounds great. It's not going to end up on my, it's not going to end up when we do the soft plastics version of this, it won't be on there. And when, no. we, when we did our, our, when we did a, like when we do our best one, it's not going to end up on there either. I think that's so it's in the thing. middle. Exactly. Same. That's what I'm like, I think I'm, that's right. All right. Yep. I do want to say one thing real quickly. Uh, I got some duck. I got to eat some duck last weekend. It was sweet. Blasted some teal. It was delicious. Awesome. Um, that was great. And I got some fly tying material, which was super cool. And then, uh, oh, so in case anyone doesn't know, you can take feathers from real animals and you can make lures out of them. It's fantastic. Um, Crazy. And then I did go hunting, but it's been like deer hunting, but it's been absolute crap for weather in Michigan. Today was actually would have been like the best day to sit. Cloudy, got super cold in the afternoon. No, like little to no wind. Um, and we had that cold front come in. So um, screw my job that I actually have to do because I wasn't able to just like quit and go do that. Um, but I'm really hoping I can get out maybe Sunday um, or Saturday, whatever day we decide mm -hmm. that we're not going to go fishing. Because... Saturday is supposed to rain a lot. So fishing was going to be Sunday. Sunday. So Saturday, <laughs> hopefully I can yep. go and it won't be pouring on me. But yeah, now it's now now is absolutely the time. If I could take the day after tomorrow, I totally would because I there's going to be freaking deer everywhere. Um, yep. That's my quick update. So on to the show meet. Give the people what they want. We're going through our... The title of this episode is going to be all time least favorite. Least. And then, and then the parentheses, hard baits. So we're doing like yep. square bills, jerk baits, crank baits, like that sort of thing only. Um, let us know what yours are as we go. Let us know what you think of what of the ones that pop up on our list. Um, I know I'm going to, I'm going to upset, I'm going to rock the boat a little bit. And I think that's fine. Uh, bring it on. Sway me and make me use whatever it is Sway. I put on here. Sway me. So, um, one thing I want to start with, though, is like, I, I think you and I both, we talked about this before this episode, like some, there were times when it was like, I didn't really like have like a, a, an instant, like, I hate this bait. Um, I kind of mm -hmm. had to think about it a little bit. Uh, so I guess what, what in your mind, especially for like a body bait, like a hard bait, what actually, how do you make the list? Like, what are some of the just things that, that are going to come up over and over and over again, where you're like, this is bothering me about this bait. Like how does that, how does one make the, the all time least favorite bait list? Yeah. So for me, I wrote, I wrote this down in our show notes. If you notice the obvious, I'm going to hit this real quick first and then address maybe my personals for this, but the obvious things that you guys should avoid when it comes to baits, I don't feel like I have to say this, but I'm going to say this is anything with water activated. Now, the, the smart baits, those color changing baits, I'm going to get yelled at for that because they came in an MB box, but <laughs> water activated, lights and sounds, lights and sounds, please go die. Uh, guaranteed to dot, dot, dot. Don't tell me that. That's nonsense. Cheap, obvious, cheap knockoffs because the first one is better. The real one is better. The, the Some of them... I will say this, like there's like knockoffs of knockoffs of knockoffs, right? In the industry, there is a lot of like my my, first, my maybe it's my third one on here, my square bill is is gonna be one of those. Yeah. Okay. Oh sweet. So so Charles is pulling up the holler right now. He's pulling up some baits, showing you some stuff. That would be an example of lights and sounds. That's just sounds, right? That's a chirping, chirping gimmicky bait, right? So gimmicks, if it's as seen on TV. It doesn't catch fish. Don't get that, obviously. I think I feel like everybody's on the same page here. Um, but what I was saying about knockoffs is like, yeah, there's a lot of baits. Um, I know a few brands have been accused of this recently where they use like the same mold. And it's like, cool, rad. Like the mold works. If they do something different with it, okay, cool. You're you're doing something at least on top of that. I'm not advocating for knocking off baits, but I will say that some are done well. And some are not done well at all. Like they didn't even try. Okay. So what I'm saying for cheap knockoffs is like the ones that look like this bait, which is good, like a lucky craft or something, but this is the cheap knockoff that splits in half and just sucks. Right. So maybe stay away from those, especially if you're seeing a lot of people, fishermen or women on YouTube saying like this thing sucks. I mean, hopefully I'm not lying to you, but it probably sucks. Don't don't get it. <laughs> we wouldn't lie to you. We're telling you all the beans that we ate today. So we're going to be right up front and center. Um, funny shapes and novelty. 
by funny shapes. I think you guys could go on Amazon and you could look up a certain spoon bait that I'm sure everybody has seen in some meme one way or another. that <laughs> looks like a certain body part or appendage. Uh, I think your best example would be like those like Coors Light can crank. Mm. Isn't that the the Hedden? 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 I don't know, but Hedden has one. Hedden has one. It's a little crankbait. Um, but yeah, look, all right. So like those things, novelty. You guys hear me say it on unboxings all the time. Wow, this is a novelty bait. Oh gosh, here comes Weston. And like, I'm always concerned when that pops up in a box. I'm like, this is going to be tough. It's either going to smash out of nowhere and you'll be like, that's amazing. There's always that chance. It's happened. It's definitely happened. The spider to me was a novelty until it just hammered fish. But then I'd say 90, 99.9% of the time, it doesn't smash. And then you're just left being pissed. 99.9 repeating, (laughs) of course. (laughs) So that's those are the obvious things. I'm just going to get those out of the way. So for me, the non-obvious thing is like it looks okay. It looks like it could catch fish. It has hooks and moves and a line tie. Therefore, it could catch fish, obviously. But then you cast it. And on that first cast, you know. I always know the first cast, you throw it out there. You're like, this is not going to work. And as soon as you start retrieving it, you're like, this bait sucks. This bait's going immediately in the trash. Um, for example, I've gotten like Castaic spinner baits uh, and uh, Vexan spinner baits. I've told you guys how I feel about both of these companies before on unboxings. But I got a Castaic spinner bait that, no matter the retrieve speed, retrieved sideways, like just sideways. Mm-hmm. Spinner bait supposed to go this way. It went this way. <laughs> I was like, "What is this thing?" <laughs> Threw a trailer on it. Tried throwing plastic on it. See if that leveled it out. Didn't. I was like, I don't know why this is happening. Something's wrong. Like the wire was bent or something. I tried to straighten it. Nothing worked. So it went immediately into the trash can. Uh, But that'll happen sometimes, right? And I've one of the baits on today's episode is something, you know, something like that. That happens. It It doesn't retrieve right. So that's for me, like that's the other thing. So I've hit the obvious. I hit one of my main points. What are some of your things that you look for? Uh, Durability. Um, for sure. And then I, I guess price too, though, because some of these baits, like they're going to cost you 10 bucks. I don't mm-hmm. tie stuff on the end of my line that costs 10 bucks that often. No. Um, and, and, and it better freaking rock. Like if it's not a, a whopper popper is probably the only example of something that costs that much money that I'm going to fish like yep. all the time. And I'm reaching for it and I don't mind paying that much money for it. Jack. Um, that would be the probably the one of the only other examples, right? Like you yep. know, thunder thunder crickets can get super expensive. Like so, like those are. Ooh, B, B. Dooley said chase baits. Yeah, come at me, Paul. I, you know, <laughs> you know what? I so I bought the chase baits thinking that it was going to be a like a total gimmick, but mm-hmm. so I haven't caught anything on the what's that? What's the crawling bait one? The bird, the smuggler. I haven't caught anything on the smuggler, so that would be mm-hmm. one where. It's the most absurd. It's I don't know if you guys have it is obscene. (laughs) If you guys have seen this in I think it was just the night fishing video. I don't we've we've fished it. We have fished it much more than that. But if you guys get a chance to look up the Chase Bait Smuggler, it's a giant bird that's a topwater with two trebles on it. And the sound it makes, I think Paul described it once. (laughs) Which sounds like what did you say? Slowly dropping marbles into a bathtub full of water. (laughs) <laughs> just one by time, one at a time. <laughs> it basically sounds like that. That's like the perfect. It is just auditory. The acoustics. Yep. Yeah, you can just think about it. It's <laughs> a freaking absurd. And also, Chaz makes a good point. Swim baits are like forty bucks plus, and we're just being chickens when we worry about losing a jackhammer. I'm not saying so. you can't. I'm not saying you can't throw an expensive bait, but like, oh, for sure. A couple of these baits that are on my list are they're they're in the seven to ten dollar range but they're, they're not good. And so when that is one of the things that I look for is like, you know, like the, the other chase baits that I got, the, that top water, the, the, the top water, um, wait, uh, uh, what is that, that one called? It's the dragon. I it looks it like a little, like a little lizard. It's like a mouse. Um, yeah. dude, it, it rocks. 
I no. caught fish on one of the hardest days that we had fishing this year. <laughs> yeah. And I smacked three or four of them in a couple of minutes. So And like 15 feet of water too, which yeah, is so, absurd uh, to me. You know, like that's good bait. Like I don't mind, I don't mind spending, like I don't mind spending money in a Whopper Plopper. I have like mm -hmm. six. I don't, they're, they are expensive. They're like 13 bucks though. Yep. So it's not the expense that's the problem. It's when you pay that much money or you pay an exorbitant price for something like a Guggen Plastic. And then it's just middle of the road. Like I'm not. I'm <laughs> or. Not, or it sends fish away from it, like a certain bait we're going to we'll talk about. There. Two of them. We're gonna talk well, about. That, that's another thing that really that really irks. Um, yeah. And then I don't mind things that like don't fish the way that I fish. Like I understand there's a lot of baits out there that like don't yeah. do what I want to do. But to Jeff's point, when it's like when it's just not effective, it's not even gimmicky. Like they try to do something different, and it's great to do something different, but it's just not really effective at what it's trying to do. Yeah. Like a wake bait that dives too deep. Like a like uh in I'll, we'll go right to my, we'll go right to my, well, no. Are we hitting it? Are we getting into it? We can get into it. But like when something's not doing what it's supposed to be doing, like what its intent is to just point when it just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, that might be the red flag. That's not a good bait. <laughs> so, right. Uh, well, like it's a spinner bait. It's a square bill. It should fish like a spinner bait or a square bill, but it doesn't. Or if <laughs> it's like... a weird square bill, it should fish like a weird square bill and not just sideways. So yeah, yeah I, that's the, those are, those are kind of the easy ones. The other, the last thing I'll say is like quality. So if, you know, I hate to say this, but there are, there like, you'll get, you'll get a, you'll get a lure. And instead of being like painted and sealed, it's got a wrap on it. And you're like, nice job grabbing your mom's uh, hair dryer and, you know, <laughs> coating your baits. Appreciate ya. Like that, like some stuff like, again, it, it kind of goes to durability, but that's just like crap quality. And like, there are a couple of these lures that I actually have in front of me where I'm like, I can just tell that the way they're made is like not super high quality, but they're yeah. going to, again, they're going to charge you eight bucks. And it's like, true. Don't do that. Yo, terrible at fishing just made a great at fishing idea, which was carry a giant magnet in your boat so you can retrieve all your lures when you lose them. Dude, I've lost so many lures the last month. <laughs> I would love yeah, to just, go. I would love to watch you drag a magnet uh, through the muck. In a place I do it. For 45 minutes. Uh, so I drag, drag it while, while you're still fishing. I just drag it around you. So. Like, that'd be great. Then I can decapitate hey. you with my square bill. Bro, bro, Actually, are you worse you than that? Over here? I can decapitate you with your square bill. How about that? <laughs> you would take it from me? Everybody said when I posted that video on Instagram that I should have just taken your lure and then fished with it. But I'm such a gentle man. But it was so yours. Again, it, was, uh, it was also mine. <laughs> <laughs> was a, they didn't realize that that was mine and you were helping me slam a box. <laughs> that was the sixth rod. sense. Yeah, so I didn't even mine. care if you got hurt. I was just worried about one of those rods breaking. <laughs> God forbid you pay for one of my rods or my funeral. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's funeral is more yeah. expensive. That's on you. The, <laughs> the, it's not um, on me. I'm dead. <laughs> sorry, Rachel. Uh, <laughs> wow. So the, um, all right, let's, let's get into these. So we're going to start with crankbaits. Uh, I had a surprisingly low amount of these, but the first one took me about 0.014 seconds, which is like the, I think you're, I think it's the speed of a thought is like, 200 260 miles per hour something like that like that's the speed of a thought but it's only going like this far and so it's very fast whatever whatever that speed translated to in inches is how long it took me to come up with the uh livingston ebs crap whatever you want to call it. this is i call it elect electric bullshit um there are these they make these that you can see in there there's like all kinds of mechanics and gizmos inside mm -hmm. of this thing Oh, there you go. There's the view right there. That is uh, the inner workings of an RCA CD player yeah. worked into a uh, <laughs> worked what? into a bait. When you peed on your radio as a two year old, and your dad tried to air it out and then pour rice on it to fix and it, it started making a sound. It this was this the, sound. This is the leftovers. <laughs> like I, <laughs> I cannot stand. I hate uh, everything. I hate everything about this. The other thing I want people to kind of see this here. I don't know if you can. The way. The way that that hook actually go is like goes inside of the crankbait. You mm. can tell that's because it's a really crappy two piece mold that they actually have to glue together, and then that actually gets screwed in. That is a very weak attachment for your uh, for your trebles, and that can lead to lost fish. And that's actually one of my gripes with one of my next lures as well because they're not super high quality. And on top of that, 
you get the gimmick factor. So Livingston, any any of anything electronic with a battery in it, yep. go away. <laughs> Please. Agreed. I think you're the next one on here too. I'm gonna grab a I gotta I gotta grab two of my other baits. So hit that uh what's it? The live target okay. bait ball. <laughs> so what, all right. So the this next one has been I think the live target's been around for like five or six years, the bait ball. Um for those who who haven't seen it before, that is the bait ball. This is a I'm gonna try and get my hand back here, see if that helps. It's supposed to look like a tiny school of fish, right? You can see there's like five fish painted or that they're actually molded on here. They come in a couple different colors. Here's my, I have a, I have a lot of gripes actually with this one. It's a gimmick. <laughs> so first of all, that, that whole paint job thing, they have a whole live target has done a whole series of bait ball. They have lipless, they have like little spinner. They have the whole gamut of these things and they're still out there. I don't know who's buying them and I don't know why. Um, here, here's, here's something that should bother you about these. E even if you don't care that it's like a gimmick. The fact that these are molded, so those little fish are all molded, they're not painted on there, that means they have to have two separate molds and they glue them together to make this bait. This is hollow. You can see, oh man, I really hope you can see. There's actually a line right through here, like on your Batman action figure, because it's two pieces glued together. This is a piece of garbage. It's really thin plastic. It doesn't weigh anything. There's a little connection point where they actually glue it together. Yeah. So like in production, there's like a little bar that they have to line up. There's two of them. So that this thing lines up perfectly when they glue it together. Dude, this is legit. Like a Spider-Man action figure that just happens to be a fishing lure. And that you can tell the same type of the same type of uh connection point for your hooks. Dude, that is weak. If you hooked into like the fish of a lifetime, this is the last crankbait I would want on it. Um also, this uh this thing's piece. This thing the, is the P-O-S. This lip is one of the crappiest lips. That so I've wait, Chaz, did you with. Chaz, did you post the, the lipless or the uh, square bill? There's two. Of, I think they're on because they're both on here. Oh, you got both. Yeah. Okay. Are the crankbaits up? Yeah. So, Paul, we do have the images going up. Chaz has most of them. He'll let us know if he doesn't have one. Yeah. There's only a couple that we don't have that we can post on the uh, screen to make look good. So don't worry about trying to make it super clear for them. But My Lord. sweet. So all I'm all I'm saying is this hits a couple of things. It hits the cheese ball factor of the whole mm -hmm. like it's a big fish you know ball they're they're gonna want to eat all those fish um it hits the low quality in terms of production and then like the quality of the plastic it also hits the durability because these are not durable if this had smoked your rod this thing would have shattered like a spaceship uh, <laughs> hitting hitting like a building this is like the, legitimately oh. this thing would have literally just become decimated um they do have high quality hooks they are they are also too big for this size. This is the 60. These hooks Those are, are huge. They're yeah. too, just they're relatively too big for this lure. This hits all of my no-nos. Uh, this has been a giveaway, I think, in every box, uh, in, in every trade show. These are always on sale. I do not know why they're still on sale. So there must be like some people still buying them. Please stop. Just please, Lord, stop. Just stop buying them. <laughs> Uh, so that that's my I think that's actually it for crankbaits. That's all I came up with. So I posted uh, in the chat here and I'm encouraging people to fight you on these things as well as me as well as fight me because again, this is an opinion based I love least it. favorite baits. And I'm sure you guys have some of your baits or your least favorites could be my favorite. I don't know. For a lot of people, the Ned rig is like, oh, I hate that thing. It's super dumb. It's like my favorite bait of all time. Yeah, so I hear you like on his. Oh, yeah. Chat. For sure, definitely. That would look great. Uh, What's so, that bird on your forehead? It's a shark deuce. It's pronounced it's, TRD. It's coming down from my just my right eye, like a little tear. You get it on your neck, like right here. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Definitely going to happen. Guys, stay tuned. That'll be an episode. <laughs> if that doesn't get a million views. Should I get that in a light brown? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So... Uh, Stevo 61 says it's ultrasonically welded, not glued. I like that. So a little oh, different. Okay. 
still not telling me why it's an awesome bait. Cause it, you got to argue it's not terrible. Then you got to argue it's great and you should buy it. So is, that's it, what we're waiting for. <laughs> hold this in your hands. Hold this in your hands and tell me this is a bait that's worth six ninety nine. Try to smile. Five ninety nine. <laughs> it's just, it's not that good. If I, I'm not saying I'd rather have this. I'm not saying that. Mm-hmm. But I will go to the bargain bin and I'll be like, find me something else, please. Yeah. B. Dooley says they're on clearance because they made so many and they have to get rid of them. But it's nope. been. I remember. Getting, <laughs> I remember getting one of these and being. Ex- this is might be the other reason why I have strong feelings. I was actually really excited to fish this when it first came out. Yeah. And it came in a mystery tackle box, like back when I still got yep. it. So this was yep. like six years ago. That's um, where I got mine. <laughs> and I, I, it, I never caught anything on it, and it never did anything, and it doesn't fish yep. right, even with the weight in there. It's still just like a, it, 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 not, it doesn't do anything. So maybe I high expectation. It's like when you go to see a movie, and they're like, "This is going to be a twelve out of 10, and it's a two, and you're like. <laughs> Bro. This this is coming off of the Harry Potter series, and you hear about Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. <laughs> you go see it. And you go see it, and you're like, my two year old would have been like, the cinematography in this wasn't anywhere near what I expected. <laughs> and then the author of the books that you cherished as a child starts saying terrible things. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's that is live target right. in a nutshell. Well, okay, so there is there is was it. Was it a lot? Okay, there are there there are two brands on here that pop up a lot, and it's mm-hmm. what I've realized. <laughs> what, I, what I've realized is that it's not those brands that I dislike, because there are some live target things that I actually really do like, and they actually do make some high value baits. The other one that will pop up a few times is Lunker Hunt, and I actually like Lunker Hunt. There are some Lunker Hunt items that end up on my favorites list. I like their new finesse line. I like a lot of the stuff that they do. There's a lot of stuff where I just scratch my head and I'm like, what? Uh, yep. It's not my least favorite. So anyways, continue with crankbaits. Tell me more. Yep. I'm going to take over because uh, I think I made the rest of this list. But I just want to give a quick shout out. Chris Mulligan caught his PB, a 10 pounder on that bait. And I, I'm going to say this too, because I have a crankbait I didn't put on this list just because I caught my PB on it. And I'm not as cool as you with a 10 pounder, but yeah. it was that Castaic crankbait from last month's MTB. Uh, so, yep. and it, it's like, it's just a really shoddy, like crankbait with terrible hooks stock and you have to change the hooks automatically, which yeah, sure. You can change the hooks automatically given why should I have to do that? That's <laughs> what I want to say. But at any rate. I digest. I think that's awesome. You can, of course, catch PBs on terrible baits. Of course you can. That's fantastic. And congratulations, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow, you said, that so list. <laughs> you said that so aggressively. Like, <laughs> congratulations. Let me rephrase. Congratulations. What Con- an congrats. We're super pumped about that. No, I actually am super pumped. That's super sweet. Uh, <laughs> and I hope that everyone gets to catch their PB on a, on a, you know, on a clown lure every, every now and again. I'm sure that feels fantastic. Yeah, no, for sure. Like it definitely 100% happens. And when you actually land it, I think it's fantastic. I've <laughs> done it. I agree. Uh, Steve-O also says, or oh, Construction Steve says, I got a questionable live target swim bait before. Like, yeah, me too. I just got one in Warrior Tackle Supply, WTS. We have now coined WTF. We don't get that box anymore. We really have a live target, the Bullshad, I think it is, swim bait. Yeah. Is it that one? No, it's the... It's I have the, just a whole row of swim baits. I think I have the almost the same one that you got because it was yeah. like two bucks somewhere. Yeah. And I was like, eh, why not? So yeah. I will That'll be catch. fishing that this weekend because guess what? It's going to be out and lurking. All monsters. the things that bit Terrible you monsters. off, all the things that bit you off, the toothy critters that you got bit off on, Snapping except I will have I will have I will have a 30 plus pound steel leader on. So yep. uh, great white I'm sharks. Hoping to, I'm hoping to I'm hoping to snag one of those. Anyways, tell me more about crankbait <laughs> you can't stand. Okay, so what do I got? I got three on here. I'm going to hit them real quick. So we got the Bass Pro Shops anything, but these are the deep divers. <laughs> the Bass Pro. Now, that's not to say that like Bass Pro Shops doesn't make like exceptional quality baits that are cheaper than some other brands. They do look harder for them. It's not these. These crank baits, the the body baits that I they make, in my opinion, are just straight trash. Like they just don't. This is supposed to be a deep diver. We're talking twelve to eighteen, and it does not. 
hit eight. It doesn't hit eight. It won't go down. And it's like, for whatever reason, an extremely flat, like fast floating, it just skyrockets to the surface. And I'm just like, I hate this. I hate it very much. I do not like fishing it whatsoever. Um, it's not, oh, it's on screen. Chaz has it on screen. It's not durable at all. I've broken them before plenty of times. I don't think that the hooks are anything of quality whatsoever. So you're going to have to shit, you know, switch those out right away. Uh, and it just doesn't hit the depth that it's supposed to hit, which is complete nonsense, especially if you're diving, you're, you're trying to get like a deep diving crankbait. So my opinion, not great. And I'm not going to buy any more of those for sure. So that's my, uh, of our, I think we have five on this list. That's my number three, number five, unless does anybody want to argue BPS body baits? I think Paul died. Paul's frozen. So you guys, Oh, fish in the Southeast makes his own. I mean, great, man. Then, then the only person you have to get mad at is yourself. If you don't like the bait. So in my opinion, I think that's awesome. Um, Oh, fishing today says, I'm going to be honest. I hate throwing, a Sanko stick bait, but they work so well. I mean, I hate drop shotting, but it's absolute murder most of the time. <laughs> so like I will do it all the time. Paul, don't worry. I'll still drop shot. Do it all the time, man. Chaz hates using soft plastics. So, I mean, like we all have that. We will have a plastics episode. We're going to get to that as well. Uh, but continuing on down this treacherous pathway, I'm going to go ahead and hit the first iteration of Weston here. This is the Weston floating crankbait. So the Weston floating crankbait, in my opinion, is terrible because it doesn't do anything. The action is terrible. It doesn't move around that much. It doesn't have, I think this was, it's like a semi-silent model. It doesn't actually make that much sound. Two to four meters diving, but it's honestly more like a wake bait. So why does it have this giant bill? I don't get it. Maybe one of you guys gets it. Maybe you can tell me what's going on with that. But it's kind of absurd to have something that looks like it dives to about 18 feet that goes one to two feet under the water. Not two to four meters. I understand that that's more like, what is that? That's six to 12 feet, somewhere around there. It doesn't do that. It doesn't dive that far. And it just floats right back up. Drives me frigging crazy. Uh, so let me, yeah, let me know in chat what you guys think about these things as well. Uh, and I'll try and catch up with you guys while, while we're at it. While, while Paul is currently reviving himself from wherever he is gone. <laughs> Chaz, maybe you should kick your audio on and like come in here with me and hang out. <laughs> Who is, all right. So Steve-O says, don't say the D word. What's the D word? Oh, drop shot. <laughs> Sorry. That you mean? <laughs> That's Chaz, awesome. As they call me. Chaz, Chaz is here and he is uh, voice only. Yep. Because Paul keeps breaking. Unless Paul's going to be on his phone now. Ooh. Oh, there we go. I can shut up now. Chaz is All in right. and out. In and out. Get out of here, Chaz. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. It's this like is a nightmare. Here's the crazy thing, guys. Like, Paul has exceptional internet. And it works all dang day long. And then like the moment on Thursday that we choose to go live, his internet is probably actually still operational, but his his like webcam situation just stops working. I just ran a speed test. I am like, I, I'm, I'm bumping 300. That's stupid. That's stupid. Here's a question. Here's a question for folks. And my upload is like insane. Here's a question for yeah. people. Anybody... Anybody using Discord, uh, I just tried to, I got on from the app on my phone, and it mm -hmm. says that, like, the me on my computer is, I wrote this down, connected to another client. I will be Googling that later. I have no <laughs> idea what that means. It doesn't sound good, and it obviously means that I am not connected to the correct client. So what the hell? So Chaz Chaz is gonna tell me more with his internet wizardry. All right, where are we at? <laughs> did we get through Bill Lewis or not? You had a. You oh, had you a... broke my you broke my camera, Paul. Yeah, is what Chaz says. You had a Bill. You had a Bill Lewis. 
on this list. Yeah, Bill Lewis is next. I don't have it. I actually gave it away. So, all right. So the West End. Yeah. So, so we hit the West End while you were gone. Uh, and I'm not a fan. It doesn't have any action. It floats too fast. It doesn't dive as deep as they say it does. It looks dumb. I've never, I, I since don't use it. It hangs on my wall. The Bill Lewis, in which Paul's just looking at me aggressively. He's so mad. He's like, how can you not like anything from Bill Lewis? Look, <laughs> so mad. Uh, but this, I don't think you fished this one. This is where we went on that giant lake when, uh, you know, it, at COVID Cove. This was the COVID Cove. And you were using, you used the hardcore shiny fire tiger square bill. And you like kept losing fish because the hooks or something was terrible. Yeah. Uh, but I was using this while you were using that. And it is like a tiny crankbait, which nothing wrong with like a small size crankbait or a small size body bait. But this thing, it had like no action. It didn't look good, in my opinion. It had kind of a weird hunch body shape, which I get for different reasons. It can work. But this thing just didn't do anything. It just didn't do what it was supposed to do. And that was like part of our... Like, hey, least favorite bait. It's a bait that looks like it should do the thing it's supposed to do, and then it doesn't do that thing. Like, it just wasn't swimming right. Um, obviously, I didn't catch any fish on it. Anything on this list that's on the least favorite list means I probably didn't catch fish on it because uh, that's part of the categorization of least favorite. Just, just revenge. <laughs> I ain't catching nothing. <laughs> I'm going to talk about you on a future episode one day and say how bad you are. <laughs> that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, it but yeah, I mean, Bill safe. Lewis... <laughs> Bill Lewis, great company. Obviously, uh, the Rattle Trap originators, like fantastic company, makes fantastic baits. This is just one that I feel is a complete miss of the mark. And that said, that is going against the. Have you guys seen the Bill Lewis Stutter Step? Which is a topwater bait. Looks dumb as heck. It's got it's like the U shaped body, and it's got a tail that like drops down. That thing. If you want to walk a topwater. <laughs> And you want to walk the dog and look like a pro, but be completely cheating. That is a fantastic topwater bait. It's basically cheat codes for walking the dog. I love that bait. So again, love the rattle trap. Love that bait. I got nothing against that company, that brand at all. That specific bait sucked. Didn't like it. So that's my thought. You still mad? All right. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Respected. All right. Okay. Moving Next. on. <laughs> That's All it right. for crankbaits. So let's move to square billies. Anybody else have any uh, anybody else have any strong feelings about crankbaits that they wanna that they wanna bring to the table? Uh, you will be able to fight for some crankbaits. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys got on crankbaits? Hit us up in chat, let us know, and uh, oh, roll on I'll with the square you, billies. And I will tell you something that actually really bugs the hell out of me with some square bill or uh, some crankbaits. When the hooks can hook on themselves and they hook together that, like that's every other time terrible. you cast mm -hmm. you have made an error <laughs> you screwed up <laughs> there was a design problem a flaw if you will <laughs> for sure there there is a bait that didn't make the square billies list in my opinion that i actually like a lot uh that was close to making the list but i like it a lot because it catches fish I don't like the fact that it hooks itself. It hooks the bill, just like you just mentioned, like the front hook always catches the bill. And that is the Carl's Amazing Baits runt. And oh, yeah. in my yeah. in my opinion, straight catches fish. It's like small body. Yeah, exactly like that. Small, tiny little peanut shaped uh, square bill crankbait. That's super shallow diving. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's got a, a feathered treble on the back. Yep. Thing catches fish. It gets tangled up on its own bill like 60% of the time. But if you can get past that frustration, like you will catch fish. I've caught pike on it. I've caught smallies. I've caught largies on it. Like tons and tons of fish on that thing. So like it causes problems. So there's one. Didn't make the list. Honorable mention. <laughs> like, But it catches Not, fish. So it's a dishonorable still happy with that. It's what it is. Dishonorable mention. <laughs> All right. So dishonorable discharged from this list. <laughs> the... Uh... So square bills, um, kind of the same thing, but kind of totally different. So the first one on my list, this is going to make me seem like a petty piece of crap, but the, the Guggen Banger actually is one of mine. 
it's a total copycat. Um, they 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 kind of like jam packed a lot of like nice looking things onto this. I will say it has extremely high quality hooks. It's almost worth it to like buy the crankbait, use it until you decide you hate it, steal the hooks, and then put them on like your other favorite square bill. Um, I just find this thing. They have a lot of different color schemes, but none of them are like, except for, nah, yeah, there's only one out of like maybe eight or ten. The rest mm -hmm. of them don't really make a lot of sense. Even the craw pattern they have is like not that good. Um, this to me, you're paying for the packaging, you're paying for the label, and I don't want to spend an extra, I think these are like six or eight bucks. I'm not paying eight dollars for a square bill that's just not that good. It's not, it, if it were flat sided, yep. And they had two or three color schemes, and it was like a, and it felt a little more durable. That would be totally worth it. It would be something a little unique. It would be something that ha has some value in terms of like the color. It's not just like white with some color on top. Um, or like, I think they have like a purple. It's like, oh, you made one in purple. Good job. Um, it's just not that good. It's just, and it's like indicative of a lot of things that. Like, I don't like another bait. So when I see one that's eight bucks, walking away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's definitely not on my favorite list. I'll say that. Um, I have modified a few and caught def definitely caught fish on it through mm -hmm. a feathered treble on one that, uh, you know, we were having a day on the grand and I was crushing. And that was one of the square bills I threw quite a bit and caught a bunch of fish on. So. Yeah, love hate. It's definitely not like the square bill I go for all the time. It's not my go to. I think everybody knows my go to. We already did the favorites list, so I'm not going to hit it again. <laughs> but uh, there's other brands out there that are great. Six cents. Um, so the next square bill on this list that is considered least favorite to me, I uh, actually have it, and I, maybe Chaz has it too, but it is the Vexan. You know, the, the thing about this brand, yeah, my camera is terrible right now too. So hopefully Chaz has this up on the screen, but um, this is a square bill. Yes, because it has a square bill. That is where similarities end. It does not fish straight at all. It it literally, I, I kept retrieving it right by the boat just to see what was going on because it felt weird. Uh, and it just ran like on an angle. Like very, very odd movement. And I don't know if I got like, uh, and this definitely could be true. This could be true. This is part of like being in the least favorite category is the lip could have been molded like off center. And it actually looks that way. If you look at the lip, you guys aren't going to be able to see it on my camera on mine specifically, but it looks off center. And if you look underneath, you can see that the paint is completely like off to the side. <laughs> like this lip was just not put in here correctly so i don't know they screwed up their mold or what they can tell <laughs> you guys can see <laughs> it's it's uh it's yeah it's it's not great so did i get a a factory second a misprint a mismold or something maybe but like that shouldn't happen especially if it's going into a mass distributed box like mystery tackle box in the elite box which is where i got it uh, and they're going to have the balls to say that it's worth like eight, nine bucks. Like, no, get out, get out of here, get out of here, go away. <laughs> it's not worth that much. So that definitely made my list. That is a shoddy bait at best. It's shoddy, dank, <laughs> shoddy. <laughs> so no, no bueno. And Vexan, like, dude, they are on my hit list because like every time I get a bait from them, it's just something wrong with it. Granted, Livingston, it came in Weston, yeah. Vexan, <laughs> Live Target but, for me. Yeah. Oh, Weston, Weston does have some bangers. You you were pointing that out the other week. So we're again, nothing against that brand. Like Weston has some great stuff. That hypo twist ended up being pretty sweet. We caught some fish on that. Mm -hmm. Uh so you know, they they do make some good stuff. We'll talk about another one in a little bit. Yeah, the pike. What's the pike one called that you wanted, Paul? Oh, is it uh, Petey? It's like Petey the Pike or something ridiculous. They all got yeah. names, right? Which I think is cool. It's a gimmick, but it's cool. It's not gimmick. It's <laughs> sweet and it's huge. I want three of them, and I want all the sizes. <laughs> Continue with your list because the next one I know people you're gonna love. 
Oh yeah. I don't have this anymore. I think I gave it away. I think somebody who won Mike, the Pike Charles says is the, the Pike one that you want. <laughs> um, but Christmas I gave this one away. If you need new Anybody... ideas. <laughs> Send him Mike, the Pike over to Paul PO box one, two, three, four, five. Michigan somewhere. Don't All right, send it so, there. Some guy named Rick is going to get that and be like, what the? F-? <laughs> somewhere Michigan is a city. <laughs> Chaz is going to hook it up, bro. Uh, all right. So this next one, I actually gave away. <laughs> gave away. And I don't feel bad about it because some people said that they liked it. So, I mean, it, it might, this might be just me. This bait was the loudest body bait I have ever used in my entire life. I guarantee this bait had just like two shotgun shells full of buckshot in it. It just had like 87 BBs rolling around. Just this thing was like a rattlesnake got real pissed off because he peed on it accidentally. This was like the most ridiculous body bait I've ever seen in my whole life. And it was poison toad colored. It was just absurd it had everything wrong with it it's and i caught a know. pike troll it was too much it was too much like too much so this friggin bait uh it's called the weston fat bite and maybe in it you have the one i'm talking about on screen oh the exact the poison toad color yes yes Yes, that is the one. So the one you guys are looking at is the exact one I got. And I can tell you on the surface, you're like, oh, cool. Like a wake bait. It's a subsurface bait. Dives uh, two to three feet. Maybe. It's like, it's like it hits the two feet pretty easy, but it's it doesn't go. It's not a wake bait. It goes subsurface, which, you know, isn't exactly bad in and of itself. It's just not a type of bait that I ever throw, really. Uh, but just the the loudness the bright, vibrant, crazy colors of it. It just had all the workings of, I do not like this thing in it. When I opened that up, I was like, oh my gosh, here we go. Uh, So yeah, not a fan, did not like. Uh, I sent it away to somebody, so somebody has it. I don't know if that person is, if anybody who's won a giveaway is ever in these chats, hit us up, let us know. Like how this bait's working out for you. I promise I don't give away all of my least favorite baits. I promise. Like it's like once in a while. I think that was like, it was the first or second giveaway I did the first or second, like big giveaway I did on the channel. And I honestly just had like three boxes and I didn't have enough stuff to like give away. So I was like, ah, uh, here plus you guys know me i lose like half my baits anyway so i give you what i can whatever's left over after the like <laughs> sacrifice <laughs> so I'd, I'd do what i can i'd do what i can um last one i had on here is uh it's a storm brand so you you storm loving sons of guns out there like paul you're gonna be mad um but it's it's a storm body bait it's called the storm arashi square bill and the reason i don't like it if you guys can see on screen is I'm just going to move my finger here real quick. Oh, there goes the line tie. The line tie is like this movable piece, which I guess they thought would add action. It does not. And it's super annoying. And then this bill is just plastic. It's 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 like really cheap plastic. I get they're it's all flimsy. plastic. Okay, cool. It's super flimsy. It's so thin. It's ridiculous. So just not cool. <laughs> So just for you, Jeff. Chaz is here. Yeah, I chose this specific picture because you uh-huh. can see the line tie where it goes down in it, and mm-hmm. the bill is looks super cheap. So I chose this <laughs> sp- specific picture specifically because I knew how much you hated this. Perfect. Perfect. Again, nothing wrong with the Storm brand because Paul will sit here and tell you for the next one hour podcast. We'll do a podcast on completely on Storm brand, catches fish kind of deal. And he would be pumped about it. We're not doing that episode. Don't worry. Uh, (laughs) But (laughs) he will advocate for Storm all day long. This is like one where I feel like they had a big swing and a miss. Do you disagree? I don't know. Let me know. I, I I have some Arashis. I never grab them. I can see why you dislike them. I can see why mm-hmm. it's your least favorite. I'm standing by Storm. 
everybody makes mistakes. Agreed. Again, nothing against them. We talked about uh, Weston. They got a lot of a lot of misses, but a lot of a lot of hits, I guess, too. The uh, Gary Sheffield, <laughs> the Gary Sheffield of uh, of lure makers. Home run swings. <laughs> otherwise, I'm going home. <laughs> otherwise, nothing. That's <laughs> nothing. Uh, <laughs> All right, I think that's oh, it for man. square bills. Was there anything else on square billies? Uh, nope, that's it for square billies. Fishing in the what's that? That was that's the last that. one. Oh yeah, it is the last one. But real quick, couple a uh, couple things in chat. Quick shout out, fish in the southeast. What's up, dude? <laughs> he says, give me a shout out. Then he retracted it. <laughs> Don't retract that message. Put it back up yeah, there. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you just waited till hey, I shouted you out and then you retracted your message. <laughs> now we got to move on. <laughs> Come back, bro. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Any, does anybody have any arguments against these baits so far? I feel like we're, we're on yeah, I haven't par. Gotten, like, I mean, other than my... No, yeah. Nobody's tried to crucify us. Oh, what's the challenge? Where is this? I see it. I see it. Ozark Trail jerk bait. It's four bucks. Has held up great. This is from fishing today. Okay. 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 See, Paul's writing it down. If you guys have seen Paul's camera there. <laughs> to I me, to me, that sounds like. Yeah. Um, to me, it sounds like a Walmart fishing challenge. But the the twist on this challenge is that I would have to buy the baits because Paul's just going to walk into Walmart and be like. So a normal day <laughs> and just buy all the things and be happy Stop. about it. <laughs> to get um, oh, this is a challenge now. Cool. So. Oh yeah. Okay. First of all, not a Walmart. It's a Meyer. And yeah, the entire fishing section has been deleted from my store. You can see that Instagram literally walked. That was on Myers. Like, oh my bruh, gosh. The, no, not the, not just the stuff. They took the freaking aisle out and we're like, yeah. Who? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the whole yeah, All right. So sold out. it's COVID. Everyone bought everything. They're like, you know what? We don't like sales. Yeah. Get rid of it. So don't Meyer, Myers. Yeah. Fishing. <laughs> delete. Bye. Now we'll have pets there. There are fish there now. But I mean, it's, in the, in it's, the a, it's a grocery store. This is not like. This isn't the South. This is an academy you over this. or Walmart. You like... over this. All right, we're moving on. Jerk baits. This is fun. Paul's so, really uh, sad about this. <laughs> what's your talking about jerk baits? I think we both. This was both on our list. I I can't be wrong about that. Okay, so before I hit this though, there was one argument. People do disagree with you specifically wow. <laughs> yeah. on the Guggen baits. Uh, so B Dooley says the Guggen on the one, banger the, or I think, I think the, I think they're saying the, the banger, I think the square bills. So maybe there's some argument for the banger. Okay. Some love for the banger. Sure. It's definitely right. not like the worst bait out there. It's just, again, on a par with our least favorites to throw it's, again. This, and this, this hits me at my core because like, this is sort of like, um, for me, it's, it's usually ends up being like a money thing. Where like I will pay mm -hmm. the money for something and be like the value for it. You made me pay for your packaging. Like that really that irks me. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's like I got I got swindled and it's yeah. like my pride is hurt and like I feel like I spent more money than I should have and I'm like for sure now I'm upset. So maybe that's it. Yeah. Maybe that's all it really is. Because I don't. That, that, I, I think that makes more sense because Construction Steve is here saying like your your hate was maybe a little over the top, but he said it's like, you know, it, he said the banger's not amazing, but compared to the stuff I'm laying out there, which is complete trash, you kind of pick something that's like Whoa. not the shiniest nugget in the mix. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's fair. You're that's still, fair. And I'll be uh, honest too. Here's the other thing: when we like when I when we wrote this episode. Um, I told Jeff this, and I think I talked about it at the beginning of the episode. I actually had a hard time with some of this because, True. like, there were not a lot. There were a couple, but there weren't a lot that were like, I absolutely hate that one. We're done here. That was easy. Like, the, there were a couple, anything electronic, and the uh, bait ball. Yeah. Those were yep. super easy. 
But like the jerkbait series, I actually mm-hmm. had to like really think about the ones oh, yeah. that I put in there. Like that actually took some time. And the square bills, that was another one that was kind of hard, but I that one stuck out to me because I'll tell you why too. That square bill, I will walk out to my garage and go grab two of those because they're just sitting there. I grab square bills all day. And maybe it's because I have like an allegiance to the brat that's like too much. But like I use three or four other different square bills constantly and I have bought other ones since and those ones like never made it up the rotation. So um I don't know. But yeah, that's fair. And I'll give it like I'll give this up to anybody and we talked about this, like unless they're like super ultimate like garbage trash. And like we're not we're not picking like you won't see like bass max with three x's on here like i understand that like there's yeah. stuff that's just like cheap and not good like, we're not max. picking that stuff so it's like it is kind of difficult to pick these out but um yep. argument accepted i will even consider reconsidering the banger but i'm gonna tell you probably ain't gonna happen he he says that we should subscribe you to warrior tackle supply so that your hate level can broaden <laughs> I need to like. Things. I need to like crank up. I need to like. I need to know what real hell feels like. <laughs> Thanks for that. You need. You need to get monthly trash to understand <laughs> how Plus good you have it. Weekly. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll accept it. I'm not going to get awesome. argument over the the Guggen banger. I'm not going to die on that sword. This next one, though. Oh yeah, like I'll, don't get us wrong. Like we're sword. gonna. Pl- yeah, like, like we'll play you guys straight on every single bait we can get out there. We're not going to hate on Guggen to hate on Guggen. Like, that's not who we are. I, I fish their stuff all the freaking time, and I catch fish. So, um, All right, so jerkbait, first one. I think you guys already know this. Can anybody guess what my least favorite jerkbait of all time forever that's an is? R. I'll, give you, that's an R. I'll give, you a, give you a hint. Got it twice. Wait, did you post it? Is it up already? <laughs> Okay. Reveal in three, two, yeah, one. And the 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 award for the worst jerk bait. Oh, oh you sorry. don't? All right, that's fair. Yo, somebody got it. Somebody got it. Oh, yeah. Terrible at fishing. Terrible at fishing says the robot. I don't. I don't have a robot one. But construction Steve said it's the pink one. <laughs> at, Bam! Yeah, literally, what this I is wrote on here. Yeah. See, Paul already knew it. So this is one variant of it. Paul actually got a chance to throw this one too. This is the one that came with like the rainbow side. The other one is just silver siding, but it's just this hot pink sinking jerk bait. It's sure there's nothing wrong with this sinking jerk bait, but I w- here's the problem I have. Well, there's some things wrong with it for us, but the problem I have with it is when I got it and the problem I've had with warrior tackle supply in general is like, why am I getting these baits when I get these baits, where I get these baits? There's no sense to it. It's like literally somebody put this best, I think in the comments, I think it was Heather. I think it was Heather who like a uh, great subscriber comments on everything. She's awesome. So shout out to Heather. Uh, but she said, it's like they just sort of spun around in the warehouse and just grabbed a bunch of different baits. And then the fact that it came in a random box, like not a not a warrior tackle supply box, random box, and I've gotten it twice, three months in a row, like just nonsense after nonsense of duplicate baits, random baits, baits that don't make sense for the time. I got pink sinking jerk baits in July, or no, no, August, September, and in October I got three hollow body baits. What is this company doing? What is this company doing? Flip flop that, maybe. Let's talk. But also, this is just not a color, a type of bait that I'm almost ever going to throw. Uh, maybe it, more like I'll I, tell you, I. I'm a big. I, I don't I'm know. A big, <laughs> I'm a big like. I'm. I. I will give a lot of baits a lot of chances. I think Jeff will speak to that. Like I will overfish a bait and try and figure it out and be like, "What's the next oh, yeah. year?" My my biggest problem with that jerk bait because I wanted to like make it work it's just a little too heavy it's, it's like very heavy what it's was it very it was 28 heavy. grams it's it's heavy. like it's probably it's probably like 30 percent like too heavy if it was like 30 percent lighter you'd be like oh that like drops down really quickly this is so heavy that when you jerk your bait like you're supposed to the bait actually will like 
over travel past where your line has stopped and you'll get hung up on it yeah. a ton like a lot oh yeah and i know that you could be like oh use a softer rod or like oh use mono or be like oh like <laughs> just don't do it so hard i'm like well it's just like not doing what's supposed to do so and it's and it's extreme yeah. like we're talking i've watched the bait on sonar a normal like tick 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 like jerk and that thing is like shooting around so i i didn't catch anything on it i didn't love the way it worked it is also that was the first like that was that was one of the few that was really easy it ended up that's number one on my dislike list as well what do you want to tell me about that bait charles all right so no matter how much googling i did to find that specific colorway for this bait i could not on their website, I found the other colorway that Jeff has, the silver one. Uh-huh. I could not find the pink one. But huh. <laughs> like, it's like they're hiding that colorway specifically. So and like yet, the pink is not possible to be found. Yeah, like I internet. could not find it. And I spent like 30 minutes uh, trying to find it. Uh, all I know is the I'm other thing is that like every single month they have to send at least one thing pink. They do. They October, it makes sense. Every it's, month. October at least makes that. sense. It's weird. Breast cancer awareness. It's weird. But yeah. Right. People made that point. People were like, oh, maybe it's breast cancer awareness. And I was like, actually, you don't know this company. They yeah. send pink what, every single What about the first and they've never once. <laughs> yeah. They've never once said anything like, all right, guys, this month is breast cancer awareness month, which <laughs> it is. And you should do that. And maybe they should contribute or donate to a specific foundation to do something good. But they did not. They probably don't even know that it's this month. And so they sent me those pink scorpions. <laughs> no, so I feel funny. great. I love this company. <laughs> all right. All right. So but, anyways, there's that one. That was next. Easy. That, was, that was easy. My next one. That was cheat codes. That was super yeah, easy. My, my next one, I actually really wanted to like this. I've, this one's uh, really weird. Bagley makes, Bagley makes a lot of really nice baits. This bait is actually yep. an upgrade of an old bait um one that i have quite a few of and so this might be another instance of like having high expectations going in to see the movie it was maybe like two or it was like maybe just average and i because my i expected it to be so great like my expectations were not met but this is um the bagley spin tail it's supposed to be like a top water jerk bait uh it's got a prop in the back it's really like thin like thin profile like a you know your kind of classic floating jerk bait um it actually has a bill just like one of my favorite jerk baits of all time which is like the classic rapala um problem is it does it it's not really a top water it's not really a jerk bait and so you run into the problem of like it doesn't jerk like what jerk are bait, you <laughs> and it doesn't spin like a it doesn't have like the super proppy top water thing so you end up with just like right. i don't I want a top water. It doesn't always work. I want to jerk bait it. It doesn't always really jerk bait. If you took the prop off, I would fish it all the time. And I have, the they, prop have off. Like a, they have like just the jerk bait version of it. I have a couple. They're expensive. Yeah. They're worth the money. I think they're great. This one did not do it for me. Nope. Uh, I have not fished that one, but looking at it, I was like, what the heck is this thing? <laughs> it's the craziest thing ever. It is a little, so, it is yeah. a little, yeah. It's a little bit bummer. I mean, I it's think, out there, and it was something that, like, again, I wanted to be really good, and it just, I don't no. know, it did not meet expectations. No, for sure. I think you're the next one too. Oh, dude, for sure. So this one is probably, duh. so this is a castaic <laughs> jointed jerk bait. Now I don't have a problem with jointed jerk baits. Mm-hmm. I have actually quite. A, I'm like, I really like fishing jerk baits. I have quite a mm-hmm. few of these. This one has a hard tail that's vertical, like it looks like a shark's tail. And the jerk, the way that it's jointed, it's like it's like a ball and socket, like this. It's not super loose. And so like yep. you don't get like this really clean action at the joint. And I think the tail is supposed to like give that to you, but like it never really happens. Um, and it's also got like a really aggressive action, which sort of again to me like is not actually what i want a jerk bait to do for the most part so i'm sure there's a way to fish this to where it works um i cannot stand fishing this thing like i want it to look a certain way and it just it just doesn't it just does not it also looks very techy 
I don't like jerk bags that look techy. I want either really flat or really shiny, maybe two colors. Yeah. And like, that's it. Like, that's it. Cause the, the, that is what a jerk bait is supposed to be. Super lifelike, uh, dying fish. And this just kind of screams like torpedo. Yeah. Th- this one actually maybe should have been at the top of my list. Um, yeah. <laughs> now thinking good. about it, you're reviving your hate for yeah, it. Uh, it's like a good, it's like a good <laughs> idea. It's executed yeah. very poorly. That's it. I think for <laughs> that's jerk insane. Bait. Yeah, I think Chaz is queuing it up right now, the image of that jointed jerk bait. Sweet. You got so, a bottle yeah. of bourbon? You gonna you gonna yeah. you gonna pour out one for your homies here? <laughs> what is that? What kind of bourbon is that? Wiggle? Wiggle Pennsylvania straight bourbon. All right. I'd Gosh. do it. <laughs> yeah, of course you would. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? <laughs> All right. So where are we at? We got one more on here, right? Is that me? Oh, no, yeah. The Janko. I'm clean. Yeah. 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 The Janko fishing. Per- is it Perseus or Pursues? I don't know. The 110. Is it listed on here? No. I think it's the Pursues. Perseus? Fair enough. All right. So it, it's like it's like a cool looking jerkbait, right? Problem is, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. It does not fish like a jerk bait. It does not have a straight action. It also has like a very obvious. This is a problem that Paul's brought up before too. Like the very obvious split seam concerns me. Like it looks like it's going to fall apart. Um, I can tell you, I've tried to fish this pretty hard. It came in an MTB box, shoot, a long time ago. It's still got a little knot on it. Still got line tied onto there. So <laughs> like. I've definitely fished it a bit, but I just never saw it's got a super, super loud rattle. Never saw any success with it. Um, I had a hard time, kind of like Paul was saying, some of these baits, some of these, some of these types of baits specifically, the jerk baits, I think we had the most difficulty with. It it's it's a category that's kind of hard to do wrong. And I think, you know, not that you can't do it wrong, obviously you can. But I think when some companies do it wrong, it's like in a subtle way and you're like, eh, still catch fish. It's got it's got three treble hooks on it. You know, you cast it out there. You're probably going to hook into something. Am I right? And this thing has three trebles and I've never caught a dang fish with it. And I fish jerk baits a decent amount. And I think for this one, just like I couldn't figure out it's it's a floating crank or a floating crank. It's a floating jerk bait, uh, but it just doesn't have like any action. Uh, I think it floats too fast. Like I, I would like. I like using jerk baits in times of slower fishing. I want to slow down. I want suspended baits. I want slow last floating. Resort. I want, sl- yeah, for me, last resort. Yeah. So Paul's going to sit here and be like, dude, you don't freaking throw jerk baits. <laughs> like, cause I don't want to. But if I do, I want something where I can like fish it in front of said fish and just stop and just be like, here you go. Here's supper. Grab a bite. Let's go. Like, that's how I want to fish it. And this just doesn't let me do that. So that's why it's on my least favorites. But I think that's it for jerks. What are we on to now? We're on oh, to lipless. oh, the lipless, bro. So, this is this is the worst category for us. I think like we have the most flop. baits. This is the flip flop. It's, it's about to get rough. I, this is this is this is where I'm just gonna sit back and let Jeff hate because <laughs> I actually I really like fishing. I I really like fishing lipless baits. Like they, I find them to be a fantastic way to search deep water. Like especially in weeds they just i i really like fishing them there's not many that i don't like this is another one where uh so my number one is actually the the lunker hunt uh impact this was a i actually fished these for like years i bought like seven or eight of them they were all on sale i bought like three of every color i had like red blue black silver i think that's it there might be another one yeah. The thing, the thing that gets me about these, they do cast a mile. Mm-hmm. The anchor point, okay, they do cast a mile. The they're fairly durable. They're definitely not nearly as durable as a lot of the other flat sided that I use, um, and I use the heck out of mine. I think there's something about the paint that they use and the finish that like. And I'm, I'm again. I'm probably the last person to tell you that color matters a lot. 
There's something about this bait. I have never been able to catch fish on these. I've fished them. I've fished them like constantly, yeah. constantly. I've and I just I can't do it. I've I've tried so much and it's just never worked. And that now, even when I look at that color red specifically, like when I see that like matte red, and I like there's a I don't know. I have a I have a crankbait that's that color red. I don't even want to grab it because I just feel like it's not gonna work. Like it has like destroyed my confidence in like just plain two tone baits. Um, this thing is on my crap list. The other thing that I don't like yeah. about it, it doesn't vertically jig very well because it doesn't have like a it doesn't have a hook point like right at the very top. It has a hook point like kind of in the middle of where like yeah. the two that you would typically see are um, of this style, anyways. And yeah, this this thing I, this they're like cursed. Every time I go to grab one, my yeah. my whole brain just knows nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> You're just wasting your time. It, it, I, I'm gonna make a point here. The one of the the problems or one of the things that goes along with these things being the wor- like the least favorite baits of ours is when you grab a bait that you don't like you don't want to fish you've had bad luck on it's gotten hung up a lot it catches itself all the time things go wrong then mentally you're already telling yourself this isn't going to work so guess what it's not going to work like confidence has a lot to do with how well you fish and if you catch fish so we've talked about that on the show before I think that's important. I think that's important to know. It's like once we decide we hate a bait, <laughs> like we're anti, pretty much screwed on that anti, thing. Anti-confidence bait. So if someone wants to challenge yeah. me on this one, I'll accept it. But I'll tell you right now, dude, this thing, they are cursed. In my box, yeah. the, the, the nine that I bought, they're all cursed. Yeah. So uh, we got we got someone here, Joshua J- J- Jadalon. Jadalon, yeah. slaughtering names here. That's what I do. Uh, it says if you remove the back treble, then they run similar to a square bill. And it also helps in the weeds. I don't know if he means lipless in general, because then he also says jigging them is effective too. So Josh, let us know if that's what you mean. But I don't know. I don't know. We, I mean, why not? If you're never going to use them anyways, we could always try it. <laughs> that's what I, I say. Mean, I would, but uh, if, it will, if, it turns, if it turns me into a believer, I'll do it. I just, I yeah. like, it's got to be the color. Because I, I don't have anything yeah. that looks like those anymore. But I, man, I don't know. Tough, tough, tough. You hate to see it. He says I nailed the last name, so I'm just going to pat myself on the back. I'm like two for two on last names, crushing it. Uh, also, are you holding your chirping bait? Because I'm hearing yeah. chirping. It's you Throw that thing at the freaking wall, dude. Like, can you not? I put mine into a tackle box that I tucked into a back closet in like my basement when I got it because this freaking bait would not shut up. I'm going to take <laughs> the... Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm, I'm, com- I'm just going to hit mine right now. I'm just going to jump ahead real quick because it's in the lipless category. But this is, this is my Livingston... Uh, chirping. This is the same thing. Basically, the exact same RCA CD player that your dad converted into, uh, you know, a body bait. Uh, this is what this is. So there's like sound mechanics and technology is going on inside of this stupid bait. And all I can say to me, I don't know. Has anybody had success on this? Please tell me you've had success on this. Maybe when. Oh, well, whatever. I didn't put it in the show notes, guys. So it's on my screen. So just look at my screen. We don't have a fancy picture for Chaz to put up. Uh, but the the way these things work is your line tie and then, you know, just the resistance of the water on these trebles when that is in contact and there's some resistance there, the bait chirps. It literally, I don't know if you guys could hear it in the background, uh, you know, on the audio a second ago. Did you did you peel it out? Did you kill it? No. Paul has killed it. Um, oh. I'm actually just trying to take the trebles off because I want them. Oh, okay. There you go. So yeah, decent trebles actually on here. So <laughs> can reuse those. But this thing just it just chirps. It sounds like a cricket. It just chirps and chirps and chirps forever. So like when I got this, once it activated, it didn't deactivate and it just kept chirping in my <laughs> office so i had to like bury it deep deep down in my basement and make sure it never saw the light of day again until today where i'm showing it to you guys so there it is this freaking joke of a bait um in my opinion it drives fish away like i've literally run it through schools of fish and they've gone the other way nah, 
<laughs> so I'm just saying, like, uh, definitely, Curse. definitely way up on my least favorite list here. Um, so other than that, we had oh gosh, there's so many, so many good ones on the lip list. We're gonna we're gonna bust through this uh, lip list here pretty quick, actually. I think so. Live target bait ball, also the same as what Paul had with a lip on it. So this is the lip list variation. Same reasons. Live target bait ball. Sorry for you that those of you guys who like it. I will say, I want everyone to remember that somebody once said that you should throw it on a umbrella rig, uh, just a bunch of live target. <laughs> bait balls and that was probably the best thing i've potentially ever heard in terms of suggestions for lures <laughs> to throw. so i would like to see i would like to propose a challenge in which we rig up what is it six do you get six on an umbrella rig is it six seven eight eight i don't know i got two it's of a these. lot yeah we've, we've got two yeah we need to buy more so you have like six or eight on an umbrella rig so we need you know a bunch more but then we're gonna rig up an umbrella rig with like you know 12 treble hooks <laughs> go to town snagging things it's gonna be great uh and illegal and we should not do that so we're not going to so the next one on this list i don't have anymore i don't remember why it's somewhere you know what it's probably somewhere in just like some kit somewhere i i just have like random baits that i don't use anymore that end up in just boxes all over the place uh so it's somewhere in one of these boxes I, I might have. So this is the the Janko. It's it's a through line, but it's called the Rip Knocker. I think it's called the Rip Knocker. Do you have it up on the screen? Perfect. So the Rip Knocker. So Chaz has it up on screen. This thing it hit it hit a lot of factors. It hit novelty. It hit not. It was like novelty borderline innovative. You're just like, oh, this is going to be like phenomenal. It's a through line bait. Okay, interesting. I've used those. MT. It was at a time when MTB was sending me through line baits like every freaking month, uh, and I just don't. I'm not the biggest fan of them. I don't really like using them. Um, you know, I hear they catch fish. I haven't had any luck with them. But this is a lipless with a through line, which was uh, real weird. So. Yeah, I don't I don't know what to even say about this thing. It's it's one treble. What's that, Charles? You have to attach it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it, it literally it's a lipless with a hole in the body and you run a line through it, tie it onto a treble, and there it just sits kind of freely. The idea behind it, what they claim it does, is that it causes bass to shake the hook less that's the idea is they can't use the weight of the lipless bait normally they can just like shake the lipless bait like lipless are notorious for losing bass at the boat so the idea was that you would lose less bass with this bait but at the same time it doesn't fish very well it's not very easy to cast it's very odd in its setup and in my opinion i just, I'm just I don't want to throw it I just don't want to throw it. <laughs> and I, I threw it, I think, four or five times, like the first time uh, I got it in that box. And then after that, I was like, later. And it's now somewhere in a box in my house. I have no idea where it is. <laughs> so I don't know. Does anybody have any feedback on that one? Because <laughs> I kind of doubt it. Garbage. Uh, garbage. All right. So Charles doesn't have this next one, but... I think we all know it. I think we know this one. So this is another warrior tackle supply. I don't even know what to say about this. <laughs> this this is the I made this in my garage out of a block of scrap wood giant lipless bait. This is like a slash bait. So it's it's essentially a giant lipless that has hard rattle to it and it was uh bedazzled with sparklies by a three and a half year old. And that is what I like to think of this bait as. It does not move very well. These baits, these giant lipless, like you're supposed to be able to like pop the rod and they just do this. And this one doesn't do that very well. It's also very loud, like really loud. I don't know what it, this, this came in the same box as that Weston poison tone 
thing that was, you know, 87 BBs in it. it I, this box was all about super bright, vibrant colors and extreme loudness and a pink jerk bait. I don't know what they were, uh, what they were doing, but if you guys can see, this is like probably one of the worst designed baits I've like ever seen. It literally looks like it was carved in wood shop in eighth grade. So I'm just saying. And it was hand painted for sure. Like the sparkles just don't line up. My light's like kind of glaring on there for you, but it's, it's just not good. Hands down. Aussie G says it's pretty derpy. And I agree. <laughs> pretty derpy. That's so good. So oh, good. Lord. Chris Hsu says, what the hell? Agreed. That's what I said when I opened this box. What the hell? Yeah. Okay. What's the next, next two are, are the exact same. Uh, not, not exactly the same in terms of the bait, but exact same in terms of why I don't like them. Uh, so this is the Carl's Amazing Baits Thwacker. And I, I think, honestly, it's just about the body shape and the line tie position, which is also why I don't like this one. This is the Lunker Hunt Crackers, a Cracker, Kraken series, <laughs> the Cracker series. Ah! This is the Lunker Hunt Kraken series. And no. uh, anything named Kraken, just the, the Kraken series is problematic oh. in and of itself. It's so so holding these two baits, like the the Carl's Amazing baits, feels durable. It feels like a better bait. It just fishes really poorly. I've I've got a few of these, and I've just never had any luck. If I grab a lipless, I can tell you guys it's not this one. Oh, and also these hooks are bent, and they came that way. So like that, I don't know if you guys can see that. Ah. That's how I got this bait. Yeah, that's that's a little bit. Just a little bit bent. Uh, that's how I got it. I don't know what the deal was with that. You can obviously change them out. I get it. But why should I have to do that if I paid for the dang bait? Um, but yeah, like I, I've gotten a few of these over the years from Carl's Club. And it's just not a lipless I'm ever going to grab. I'm just not going to do it. Like I just don't like it. I have so many more lipless baits that I like better. Uh, and this Kraken, dude. Does anybody like the Kraken series? Can anybody... Is there a single bait in the Kraken series, including the spinner baits, that you actually like? It it makes me I, I, I get upset. Like I get I get I like, get upset. Like, like, <laughs> don't bring that up. Don't do that again. I you post nothing. did you post a red and black one on the screen? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Anytime I I'm legit legit ever since that. I, we tried to tried to make the kraken work. Fish the, the yeah. Jesus out of it, and I fished it three or four times since. And golly, yeah, oh, yeah. we. Eh. I mean, and, and, and again, we'll say this: like Lunker Hunt is going to be another one of those brands that has shown up a few times on this list. But at the same time, like we got a Lunker Hunt box in August for the Topwater, was or not? Not in August. It was. Was it July? Was Lunker oh, Hunt, August. and then Topwater was August. August was Topwater. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, it was straight right. Topwater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Lunker good. Hunt was uh, July for Monster Bass, and oh, I gotta yeah. say, I loved every bait in that every single box. Like every single one. bait in that box. <laughs> yeah. So they do make great baits. There's another one that's coming up soon, <laughs> but like they also make not great baits. Everybody misses sometimes, man. That's fine. You know, there's Lunker nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing yeah. between. It's either freaking awesome or for sure. Away. So speaking of throw it away, Lunker yep. Hunt. We hit the top water. You know, I didn't have a, I didn't have a lot in here to hate, and I tried to stick for to top like, water. I tried to. So you put a lot of hollow body baits in here. I didn't put them in here. I stuck mm -hmm. to like the hard baits. So that's why a couple of those oh, that you have yeah, on yeah. here are not on here. So mine is that's fair. Plastic, hard plastic. So, um, yep. One of your should I hit my first one? <laughs> go no. Well, yeah. Yeah, this was mine. This was my pick. Jeff has one. This is the darndest lure. Uh, maybe on my <laughs> Do list. you have it's one? The, no, I don't have it anymore. It's the Lunker Hunt Link. It's two yep. pencil style walking baits. <laughs> I'll show together. you the problem. They're linked together. It's, it's these two trebles. <laughs> Dude, it is. That's the honestly, problem. It's the biggest. 
janky mess. You end up with just like a hunk of four lures or four travels, <laughs> like all glued together. Yeah. Um, it and they say like the cell on it is like it walks perfectly every time. And like you can go really fast or slow and it either looks like a bait fish doing this or that. And I'm like, no. No, it doesn't. It looks like I'm gonna grab it and get stuck in my hand every time I go to pull it out of the water. It is yeah. That that is honestly I just I looked at that bait and I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. What are we've gone too far? You didn't you you didn't ask you we knew you could. You didn't ask yourself yeah. whether or not you should. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly it so the problem was like you'd be walking it and like anything would happen and this front treble and the middle treble would always hook because they just go together just so time. easily it's it's not even that like things would happen just time would pass and those things <laughs> would get those things would get you, hooked up like that's it you would cast it out there and you would just let it sit and it would just be like <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I need to do this. Seconds, don't get tangled. <laughs> Does that That's exactly the problem, man. That's exactly it. So cool in concept. I almost think if you took this middle, Paul says not cool in concept. I say cool in concept. It's like if you took this middle treble out, you can't hook the back and the front. Maybe. <laughs> like, Redemption? We're I don't know. Back to Maybe the, we could do that. To the jointed jerk bait, the castaic jointed jerk bait. So I don't. Whatever. No, that's a that's a that's a no. That's a nah for me, bro. That, that's a nah, dog. All right, moving on. Nah, dog. We got we we got a controversial one. <laughs> oh. um, this is actually this is actually two. This came in two of the boxes we get. Uh, one of them from one box, one of them from the other box, and they look. Dare I say similar? Because <laughs> they really do. That's the funny part about it. So uh, this first one we'll hit. This is from an MTB box. This is the Strike Pro Swing Pop, and uh, Paul Fish this one the most. So Paul has the most experience with this. Other than the fact that it's just built really poorly, um, this jitterbug mouth, the position of the line tie in this mouth. I remember Paul saying this. This was like in April or May, right? It was like, maybe we can get top water season. Not likely. It early, early, early on, right? And you fished this for a while. And I think I remember you saying, like, it just wanted to dive. <laughs> it just wanted to go under the water. Yeah, it's not, and, and there's nothing wrong with a bait not being a top water. It's just, that's Unless not it's, supposed it's supposed to be a top to water. It's supposed to be a wake bait. It's not, that's yeah. not what it's made to do. The line, if they literally, if they had just done what the jitterbug does and depressed that line tie so that the top of the water funnels underneath instead of just like straight on top of yep. that lip, that probably would be a sweet bait. The thing is, that lip is too big for that lure, and the, the hook point where you tie in, or the, the tie in point is not in the right spot. It is an absolute challenge to get that thing to do what it's supposed yep. to do. I. I, I it's I don't hate a lot of lures. Like I, I understand that like some of them just work differently than what they, you want them to work. That I I couldn't get that to do what it was supposed to do, mm -hmm. and therefore, ugh. yeah. So there's that one. Then there's this one. So this is the uh, this game in the monster bass box. So you know, kind of kind of equal levels of distaste here. We had the MTB. And we got the monster bass and this one, you know, I'm a monster bass ambassador. Like I love monster bass. I love 99% of the baits they send me yep. every once in a while we get a not banger and this is the one. So this is the, uh, super K jigs top water. Um, I think it has decent body shape. In fact, like the month before we got a bait, the exact same shape. But it happened to walk a lot better than this one. The problem uh, that both Paul and I experienced with this one is that it would hang up on itself like nonstop, no matter what pace you walk the dang thing at. It just kept getting hung up on the line. We we even, you switched the line. What'd you go to? You went to a uh, mono, right? Like a heavier mono. I went to a, and a loop heavier knot. mono. And I went to a loop knot and I went yeah. to a much softer, like essentially a soft cranking rod. 
Um, uh-huh. It still was like, after, I mean, I got it going for like, I don't know, 30 minutes. <laughs> you got a better color. Chaz has, Chaz has like a shad color there. What is that? Is yeah. that like blue? Oh, okay. It's a little bright, man. It's a pretty I red color. I like the other. I don't know. They both, I didn't love the color of that other one either. Like, I wanted to like that yep. bright green and hollow yeah. graphic kind of. It just, it's it a sick color, it but me. it doesn't yeah. do it for me. I wanted to like yeah. it. I fished the hell out of it. I caught a sweet fish on it. So there's that. You did, you but did catch on it, which was sweet. Man, that was tough. That was tough. Yeah. That, that was, that was a tough one. Uh, Wait, the next one. Can everybody now guess the next hands. one? Now we're throwing hands. <laughs> the next two we're throwing so, hands. Are the next two? Oh, oh yeah. the the one after this one. The one after this one you're going to be mad about, but I don't care. Oh. I don't care at all. <laughs> so this next one. Uh, just Danny the freaking it. duck. Yeah. <laughs> I just did. Danny the freaking duck. And... The here, it, this is a weird one for me. This is actually, this is different from the reason I don't like the other baits. The reason I don't like Danny the Duck, not only do I never catch fish on it, uh, but I cannot escape Danny the freaking duck. Why do boxes keep sending me Danny the freaking duck? I don't want this. Don't send this in boxes anymore. If you own a box company, please don't send me this duck. I don't want the freaking duck. (laughs) This is more like, this is like, yeah, send me the crankbait version maybe. But this is like, this thing has been chasing me. I swear. I swear this thing is just. It, it's like some sort of poltergeist activity. This freaking duck is following me around. It's an entity of sorts attached to me and I can't escape it. I'm going to give, I just got one from WTS. It's going <laughs> to Paul. I got this one that is missing a foot for whatever reason. I don't remember when that happened, but it sits up on my wall at all times and I just can't get away from this duck. So the reason it's not my least favorite is not necessarily because it doesn't catch fish. Cause I'm sure I'm sure it does. I just haven't looked into them, but I can't get away from it. <laughs> I've given them away. I've thrown them away. Dude. Yes. Chaz, if I get another one, it's yours, bud. Like I can't, I can't, I've given one away in a giveaway already. I can't wait. I'm giving I can't one to wait Paul. To I have I that one. That's the Michigan state record muskie on Dan of the duck that you give me. Dude, I can't wait for you to either. In, in fact, I fished the thing in the WTS uh, uh, on the water review, and I was like, if I catch a giant muskie, I'll keep my Warrior Tackle Supply subscription. I will. And guess what happened? Nothing, because they sent me it in October. I actually got bit (laughs) off like three times, so you don't know. I got bit off one time on that uh, hair jig, which actually is the only bait that kind of made sense other than the chartreuse uh, jig. That was a homie. That was like my favorite bait in the box, and it just went... Yoink. All right, cool. Neat. <laughs> All right, hit him with, hit him with the next one. <laughs> yeah, so... The next yeah, one? What's up? Let's go. The, the next one. The next one I put on here just to be controversial. Just to, like, mostly to make Paul look really angry at the camera. But apparently Chaz is mad, too. So the next one that I put on here is the Hula Popper 2.0 specifically. Uh, and the reason I don't like it is because there are so many you other like better topwater poppers. Yeah. <laughs> I catch, I'll catch more on other poppers. I put it here because I don't, yeah, well, it destroys here too. Like, I'm not saying it doesn't destroy. The point is not that it does or does not catch fish. The point to me is that I do not like fishing it. I like other poppers better. I find I have more success on different smaller poppers that do more of a pop pop versus a gigantic gurgle because the Hula Popper 2.0 has a giant gaping mouth and I just don't like throwing it. So I put it on there. It's one that I won't throw. Yep. Threw it out there. And now everybody's going to be mad. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad call. That's a good lure. It, the 2.0 specifically. That's me. <laughs> It's sweet. The tails on those things are awesome. I have many of them. I've been fishing them for years, and they mm-hmm. catch fish. I actually caught a fish, like, what, in 10 minutes fishing that thing. First night that we had that 
monster slam. The hula yep. hopper is awesome. It may be. I don't like the 2.0. Put it out there. I put it right, out there. The, There's other top the, waters I'd rather the throw. Because then you you can get you can get your credibility back because you've lost all of it. So let's try and <laughs> let's try and build. Let's try and build back up. Let's try and. Uh, we made everybody mad at you with the Guggen baits at the beginning, and then I wanted to throw one in there just to, like make you feel better. <laughs> oh gosh, someone's mad that I don't like the duck. We're talking about the hula popper now, though. <laughs> like, change it. No, 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 no. Change your mind. Go back. You said something about my duck. <laughs> what, what about the duck? <laughs> Tell me oh where man, next. this next one you have a good gripe on. Uh, what's the next one? Oh my god! All right, so yeah, I I threw the hula pop in there is like your refresher. There are good baits that I don't like too. Uh, there are also bad baits that I don't like. <laughs> here's here's one of them. So this is the Lunker Hunt Dragonfly, and as you can see, it seems like it's been attacked by a monster. However. It is not. It has been sitting in a tackle box and it's never actually touched the water. So what's happened here? Um, this plastic is complete and utter trash. And it just, it was in there with hollow body frogs. So did this plastic react to the frogs? Did it react to the skirt? Because it has a silicone skirt of its own. So that doesn't make sense. Uh, why did this melt and or tear and or fall apart? I do not know. The other reason this bait sucks is because it's just a uh, sit there and do nothing bait. <laughs> it's not, you can't work it. You do nothing. You do nothing. If you do something, you've done too much. You, it is fly fishing. It is fly fishing with conventional gear, but it's just too big and too dumb to do any good in my opinion. It's bad. It's uh, bad. It's you a bad should fly bait. fish. Instead. It's a bad. It's a bad day. <laughs> it's a bad day. Yeah. And I will. Lunker Hunt has like a whole series of top waters. They have prop frogs. They have uh, that are some are really good, some are really bad. The spider, I think, is fantastic. It's awesome. Um, their frogs are great. Their general, just the generic frogs they make are good. They have the ones with the legs. They have the ones with the props. Those are all good. They also have a line of top waters that are not good. So the turtle, not good. They have the the sideways like sunfish looking one that's like the size of a fifty cent piece, not good. They have the mm -hmm. dragonfly, it's not good. It's just not good. Um, yeah. I think there's another one, another. I can't. I think that. Do might you be say it. the sunfish? Isn't the yeah. sunfish a uh, live target? That one's live target. That's the yeah, one we got in the Warrior yeah, Tackle Supply. Right. You might be right, but man, it's but just yeah. like that whole series is like it, it. They're hit or miss. Like the spider, you would it just looking at it, you'd put it in the same category as a dragonfly. You'd be like gimmick joke, no way. Yep. That's an awesome bait. That's a sweet bait. <laughs> um, it's man, yeah, it's just so hit or miss. So, I I think somebody brings up a a, a good point here. So Jeff Kane says. Topwater Ned rig, to I which know. I say, because <laughs> you just dead stick it. But we can rip this part off, which is already ripped off, and that's a Ned rig. Oh my god, I found a use for it. Or maybe I can fish this other part on the Ned rig, and then it's like having a skirt coming off the sides. Ooh, I could throw that. I could throw that this weekend. We'll see what that does. I'll find a use for this uh, this, this trash in some way. I'll repurpose this trash. I'm gonna make something out of it. Man. Oh man! <laughs> All right, last Dude, one. Least favorite baits, just cutting deep. Oh, I didn't get this one out. Hang on, uh, Chaz, do you have it on the screen? Can you get this last one up? Yeah, the yeah. Perfect. So this last one, uh, <laughs> Texas Huntsman said, you can throw it in the garbage where it belongs. Yep. I mean, eventually I'm going to do that. I mean, I might try and catch at least a fish on it. I did spend actual American dollars on it for some unfortunate reason. Uh, and here we are. So, but this last bait 
I did not get on purpose. Uh, what did this come in? This came in. It had to have been Warrior. mystery tackle box. Warrior? Warrior think... one two. Was it mystery? It was mystery. That's an ugly mess. I, I'm pretty sure. So this last bait is actually this bait, right? Remember this one? But if it was this way with frog hooks in it, it's literally this <laughs> like sideways it's and nice. it's hollow body. It's like, it's like this. These two baits got together. <laughs> the newer version looks good. Shut up. So the picture you're showing right now, what does it look like? Gosh, dang it. Are we saying I'm not I'm sorry, I'm not gonna... They changed it? No, that's the same one. Yeah. That's the same one. It uh, does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't sit No, that's exactly the same one. That's the same one. It sits like that. Yeah. So Charles is saying like this is a newer one, there's a discontinued version whatever. So this is the Weston. What is it called? The it's the swim something hollow something. Fish, Anyways, right? hollow body swim bait, right? So basically, it's exactly like it sounds. It's a hollow body swim bait, which is not what's supposed to happen. <laughs> so essentially, you it's a it's a frog bait that will go subsurface and kind of have some action like side to side. And like I just don't. Maybe it's maybe it's I don't I don't get it. But yeah. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It doesn't get it either. Like it, it, it's like Frankenstein. It wakes up one day and it's like, "What am I? Why am I here? I'm scared," and then it freaks out over fire. So like it is a really weird bait that does nothing in my opinion. But I tried uh, fishing it like around pads, like you would a frog bait. It gets hung up a lot. I tried swimming it through the water. It doesn't swim that well. You kind of let it plop. It fills up with water a little bit. And then you fish it back as a subsurface bait at like one feet. And it just does kind of this, like this amount of movement. And I just don't see how that's going to work. Cause then I have to, it, it has frog hooks in it. It's got the two prong frog hook in it. I got to hammer that through a bass's mouth while it's moving. You can't lean into it. Like, I just don't get how that's going to work. So yeah, hands down. I think that's the last bait on our list. And it belongs there. <laughs> bottom of the bottom list. <laughs> what the heck? So I don't know. What do you what do you, what do you think? What is what is your least favorite of the least favorites, Paul? Let's hit that real quick. Your least favorite of the least favorites. Um, I won't say hula popper for mine, so you don't have an aneurysm. Well, I would just say <laughs> that you're out of your mind and your opinion can't be trusted. Um <laughs> probably I want to say the bait ball, but I, that really can't be it. So I'm going to say mm. the. Yeah, there's two bait balls on the list. Well, yeah. <laughs> we sure love our bait balls. I, I would say the crankbait, but I will, uh -huh. I will go with. Man, this is hard. Um, oh. I'm going to go with the dragon. Well, that's not really. Yeah, I'm going to go Dude. with the dragonfly. But it's either going to be the dragonfly or the the lunker hunt link. Those, it's got to be one of the two. Yeah, I I would say in terms of baits that just have never caught me fish, nor will apparently ever catch me fish. I'm on the same. Like those are the two that I was thinking top of mind would be those two, which we end up in you know the top water category. So I mean, I guess if I said anything else. Uh, it would probably be like that Jenko one knocker or not the one knocker. That's uh, the rip knocker. Baits. uh, the rip knocker. What about, yeah. on, what about the pink jerk bait though? Okay. But now we're getting back into the rest of all the baits. So <laughs> if, if we're talking in terms of baits that just straight haunt me, then it's the pink jerk, but mostly Danny the duck. Like they just don't, I can't get away from them. I can't escape yeah. this base. <laughs> oh no. Oh. No. Ooh. No, I'm gonna stick with my. I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's got to be the link or the dragonfly. Those on the whole. Yeah, I'm with of, I'm with that. That's what I'm saying. The worst overall, like out of the entire list, the whole. If thing, it's one, 
it's the it's the dragonfly. If it's yeah. one, yeah. top to bottom, it's the dragonfly is the worst bait on this list. I will the, the best bait out of the least favorite baits. You're gonna make us pick that, Chas. <laughs> Oh um, man, that's even harder. That's, no. even, that's way harder. The best of the worst. I actually gave you a freebie on this, Paul. Why? The, there's only one reason I put this bait on the list. Oh. So we can make the best of the, <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> the Hula Popper 2.0. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm taking that one off the list because that's just too obvious. So I'm either going to say, I guess you could say it could be the Guggen Banger. Yep. Um, uh, this is not good. I don't know. Um, that's a hard question, Eric. This is a hard. That's actually that's actually a really good question. Hmm. Maybe the. Right. Oh yeah, it's man. That really hurts to say. I mean, I would probably <laughs> either do that. Which oh. one? I'd probably say it's got to be the banger because there's nothing like, not okay. like so bad that it can't be fished. Like a lot of these are so bad that they <sighs> legit can't be fished. I'd yeah. probably say it's either that or the Arashi because I know the Arashi. Like I've fished the Arashi a ton. I have a couple. I don't hate yeah. them at all. Um, yeah. It's got to be one of the two. Yeah. I would say the banger and then only say the hula popper to make you happy. <laughs> if the hula popper's on the table, that for sure is like that's that's like in my it's mind. on the table, it's on the list. You well, can that's say a, it. That's a no-brainer. It's the hula popper because that's there actually like one of my, popper. my all-time favorites list. Yeah, there you go. One, two, hula popper banger. There you go. Yeah, was that that was on your all-time favorites, man? Yeah, because it's like freaking. It. All right. I think it was on mention because it's freaking. Sweet. Moving on. All right. So, anyways, whatever, Paul. Here we go. So. <laughs> So we went through a whole bunch of baits. We talked about a bunch of baits that we didn't like. And it's, again, it's just an opinion. We don't like either how they're fished, how they work. They didn't, in, in many cases, it was like, they just straight up didn't operate. Please do not buy these baits. We said that a lot. In some cases, they have some sort of weird demonic attachment to us, like Danny the Duck, and I can't escape him. Uh, in a lot of cases, we're just, yeah, it's whatever to us. You know, it's mostly just, eh, like the banger, for example. You're just like, ah, eh, there's other square bills that I like to throw. Who cares? Like, I'm like the hula popper. There's other topwater poppers I like to throw more. Whatever. Yeah. So it's it's all a matter of opinion. So we're happy if you guys disagree with this. Like, please argue those opinions. But I really want to hear just in, in general what your guys' like least favorite things you throw are uh, or avoid throwing. Maybe something you've gotten in a box before or whatever it is. So hit us up in the comments with that. Um, if you haven't hit us up in the chat, hit us up there too. It's a lot of fun jump in the water's warm it's fun to talk about terrible baits because we talked what did we do like four we done four episodes of the best baits five four or five, four or five. Mm -hmm. uh so we we've uh, it was funny like this week paul was like uh should we continue the you know our favorite baits of all time series and i was like least favorite baits mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I don't know i thought it was fun did you guys think it was fun i thought it was fun i'd love to do it again uh, I think we've got an other side to this, right? There's really like a one and two, kind of, maybe a three. Plastics would be next, right? I think so. It, either that yeah. or either that or it's got to be like, like, because when you said, when you said Kraken, I immediately thought the uh, like jointed, what do we even call that? Like a, 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 a jointed chatterbait? Oh, that's it's not it's not a chatter bait. So it's called a blade bait and it's completely different. So there's like shutter baits, blade baits, bladed jigs slash chatter baits, a lot of different categories. But the blade bait is supposed to be a subsurface, like one to two feet, like shaken bait. <laughs> like that's it. No, it's awful. It's awful. I agree. hundred thousand percent. But yeah, that is where, man, that'd be fun to do those. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I, w I do want to point out, like Marlon pointed out, uh, that the duck is great for big pike and muskie. Hence, it comes from Weston. And we were talking before the show. Weston is, where are they from, Chaz? It's a Danish company. What does that mean? <laughs> Denmark. Denmark. Thank you. 
I wasn't gonna about to say the wrong country again. Uh, so they're from Denmark, and like those guys fish for like big pike, like all the time. So it makes sense for them. And some of you guys, maybe across the country, like you do that as well. But yeah, we just don't fish for those uh, often enough. Like we could absolutely, and then it would make sense. Uh, and we do, we do have two Danny the Ducks left. So you'll have one, Paul. And I'll have one, and we could go try to catch something on. And maybe we, we like you know, resolve this curse that I have or whatever it is. And we get rid of Danny the duck. I don't know. Uh, otherwise I need an exorcism. So we'll figure that out next. Um, but overall you will. Thanks. Charles is going to schedule the exorcism of Danny the duck. Get him out of here. Uh, so we'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, so we, I mean, if we fish for those, it would make sense because we don't, that's why it's on my least favorite list. Um, We'll see if Paul can catch something on it. Maybe he catches a 10 pounder and then we'll all have to change our minds. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I'm just going to say I doubt it right here. Not, <laughs> Not sold. Yeah. I love oh, it. man. This was really fun. I'd like to do another one. Let us know what category you'd want to see next. This was like hard body baits. I tried to make it broad. Yep. Let us know if you want to see like plastics or like spinner baits or jigs or whatever. If yeah. there's a broad category, let us know. Um, but yeah, this was super fun. I liked it. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a lot of different ways we can go with this for sure. Um, Construction Steve says, did you end up getting to try out the Movement 80X? Yeah, the Sixth Sense one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we, I, I've caught fish on it. Like, I love the Movement series. Sixth Sense will not end up on my least favorite list. <laughs> Just going to say it right here. Some people have said that, uh, remember we were talking about cheap baits with the seam or, mm-hmm. or falling apart. Yeah. I've heard that six cents baits fall apart. I haven't seen it. I don't get I it. Haven't either. So, and I fish I them a lot. Them. So. I, I seek them out because I think that they make, I mean, on the flip side, the reason I look out for them is because I think they make high quality baits. Like I, that's my perception of and my experience, but yeah. Yeah. You I, smacked yours yeah. off of a boulder. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I, I <laughs> yeah. Like my my I, perception of six, my perception of six sense is that um, there is some uniqueness to what they make. Uh, there's purpose yeah. in in the design, and uh, not to say that there's not in uh, lunker hunt either. There's always purpose, but sometimes it's just weird. But yeah, they they do the things that they do on purpose at six sense, and I think they make great baits. Like it, it's, I mean. I can't speak for all the soft plastics because I'm not, I don't really use a ton of them, but on the, on the well, body. Uh, we never, stuff. we never get them, man. Like the, the problem yeah. with their box, if there's a problem is that they only ever send the freaking worms yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. so know, I don't, or the divine I swims. Worms, but, so but it's, it's, yeah. it's all good stuff. I have no, they, I agree with you They're until I get a super bad one, which I don't see myself doing. I don't, I've got no reason to put them on the shit list. Yeah, yeah. So Texas Huntman says, uh, or Huntsman says that he has two split lures from Six Cents. So I ask, what happened? Uh, let me know. Like, I, I'd be interested to see what it takes to make that happen. Oh, there you go. Straight split on the seam looked like foam pushing out of the body. Mm. Wonder what kind of baits they were. I don't know. Sounds like you got a POS and you need to call them and be like, hey, send me the good version of this. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, so that's I don't know. We'll so see if that ever happens to me. But as of right now, like they're not going to end up on my list. That's for sure. Um, I, I am Xtez says, have you ever, you ever fished the Winnebago system? I don't know what that oh, wait, is. What? The Winnebago system? You mean... Like the RV, <laughs> what is the, like what is a Winnebago system? No idea. Um, all right, guys. So yeah, we got anything else for today as far as least favorite baits? I don't think so. Any spoiler on what the box is going to be to replace WTS? Yes, it's absurd. The box that replaced WTS is absurd. Um, the bot. All right, so the box that took. Warrior tackle supply spot just just for this month. It's a one month thing, is ridiculous. And you guys are gonna watch the video and you say that box is ridiculous. I don't know if that's gonna be ridiculous in a good way or a bad way, but I've already gotten 
the box. It's actually sitting right over there. You probably can't see it because my camera's all fuzzy and terrible. Um, but I've already filmed it. It's dropping next week. So stay tuned next week. There's an absurd box or unboxing rather happening. You won't see it coming. Um, I'll give you a hint. No, I won't. I'm not giving you. Don't do that. No, 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 um this isn't the replacement box let me just make that note this is not replacing the box monthly this is a one-time thing (laughs) that's kind of replacing the video slot for the box and it's bonkers it is bonkers it makes no sense wait till you see it you're gonna be like what the heck is this thing and why and then you might say this is awesome or you might say this is dumb and this is a tester box from a company that's new they sent it to me for free so you're gonna have to just wait and see what the heck this is all about uh and let me know what you think about it obviously because we want to tell that company what people think about it because otherwise they're not going to sell any so that's what they want to know that's why they're doing this um there is a box Yep. There, well, there is a there is another box that's going to replace this, though. Yes. Potentially replace this. I am testing Monkey Tackle. Uh, I think it's actually Tackle Monkey. Everybody keeps saying Monkey Tackle. I'm pretty sure it's Tackle Monkey uh, because 57 people said it in the comments, and then I started getting freaking ads for it <laughs> because <laughs> Facebook is Skynet. Heard you say it. She's like, "Hey, Google, yeah. Amazon, everyone else, send him ads." He What's said that? Something. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm trying that now. I got a month of that one as well. So Tackle Monkey is coming as well. It's going to happen. Uh, what were you trying to say? No, so we talked about like what the options were, and it was surprising yeah. that I think I was surprised that the that how many boxes were not out there. Can you hear this thing chirping? It just stopped. I can still hear it chirping. It's super yeah. annoying. Just yeah, it's so smash bad. it, please. It's so bad. The um, you know, I think. I was kind of surprised at the number of boxes that were out there that were like not nearly up to like what the expectation should be. Like when I, yep. you know, there were probably three that I saw that would have been good replacements where you're like, I would, I would go pay money for this box or at least be like curious to know if it was worth, you know, if it was good as it looked. Um, I was yeah. really surprised at the low number of like good options. So um, there are boxes out there. Uh, I think yep. there's again probably only less than a handful that I'd be like we should test those out. Um, but if right. you're out there and you're listening on the chat, like let us know if there are boxes that we should be taking a look at. Um, I will go take yep. a look at them. Uh, I'll see kind of what they're all about and what they do. Uh, you know, we are hitting ice season here, so um, it might be nice to look at something that's a lot different. Um, but still, yeah. I mean, the rest of the planet Earth is not all going to be encapsulated in ice here in about six weeks so um you know let us know let us know what's out there if you saw something online and you're like hey i saw an ad for blah 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 um we'll uh we'll check it out for you so another one that keeps coming up is this rtb which i want to point out there's two rtbs so there's actually rush tackle box and then there's real tackle box r-e-e-l and i just remembered i did order a real tackle box as well (laughs) Well, that was one of the ones oh. that we talked about. Um, the yeah, Rush. it was one of the ones we talked about. So that is coming. Rush, I did not get. Um, I've heard too many bad things about it to get it, honestly. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I can waste my time. <laughs> oh. Yep, good point. So Fishing the Southeast has said this a few times. We also said MB. Yeah, man, I get I get. I'm on Monster Bass. I got you. You are too. I know you are. Uh, but he said heat combustion happened to the six sense baits. That's interesting. I don't want to sacrifice a bait, but I might sacrifice bait. I might just throw one like in the <laughs> oven and just see what happens. Like that. I don't know, man. That's uh, strange. I don't know. Let's see what's going on there. Um, yeah, B. Dooley says, nope, don't do rush tackle box. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Uh, and then, oh, I am Xtaz came back. Lake Winnebago is just a lake that's connected to multiple lakes and, and Lake Michigan. Oh, yeah. you meant a system of lakes, not a tackle system. I got you. No, I, have, I haven't fished it yet. So we'll get to it. Paul, are you, what are you doing? 
<laughs> Paul is a robot, you guys. Speaking of Skynet, holy cow. Oh, Winnebago in Wisconsin. So Wisconsin. Wisconsin. On Lake Michigan. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I didn't finish the, reading the comment there. Uh, there goes Paul again. He did make it to the end of the show. I'm really proud of him. Now he's currently a robot working for Skynet trying to take us down. I don't know what's going on here. For... Oh, no. You're talking about real real tackle? No. Nope. I won't tell you. I won't tell you what the no, new box no, is. Stop guessing. Yeah, Chaz, stop guessing. I'm not... I'll tell you after we close out the stream, bro. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap it up. What else do we have? We got nothing else. So apparently heat will kill six cents baits. Remains to be seen. We're going to see that out. Also, we're talking about Winnebago in Wisconsin. We're going to check it out. We'll see what's going on. We got some trips to do. We got some trips to plan next year. It's it's going to happen. We're going to get some stuff going. Oh, IMX Tez says, uh, caught a four pound smolly off Lake Winnebago, which is absurd. It's pretty absurd. Pretty absurd. I don't know. I like Paul, do you think we can get a four pound smolly this, uh, this weekend? Try and stop me. <laughs> Are you going to throw Danny only? Please do. Guys, challenge don't Paul to only throw Danny the duck for this oh, entire don't, weekend. Don't ruin, <laughs> don't ruin my whole day. Oh, you don't have any faith in Danny anymore. Okay, okay, I say. <laughs> all like right, guys. You throw the hula hey. all day. I will, and I'll probably be happy, and you won't. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what will happen. <laughs> all right. Hey. Thanks for watching tonight, guys. It's been fun hanging out with you. Thanks for participating in chat. Come back yep. next week, every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll be here hanging out. Uh, Construction Steve says, Danny the Duck, two-hour challenge for every fish caught, the other person drinks a dad pop. I ain't mad about that. Yeah, like, that at all. <laughs> no, it should be for every you can, fish caught you something. Fish and your friend gets rewarded. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> something yeah exactly that means we get zero dad pops that's a terrible challenge i don't yeah, want I that like challenge, challenge at all i will flip that make on it its head and i'll say every time you catch a fish then I don't, maybe every time you don't catch a fish that you cast you have to drink a beer that would be a challenge. every cast <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> million dollar idea. That's, there it is. <laughs> that's so terrible that's so terrible all right, guys. Again, thanks for watching tonight. Come hang out with us every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'd love to see you guys on the channel. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, to the podcast, Burly Fishing. And then you can follow us, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We all over the place. It's all Burly Fishing. Just go check it out. Uh, stay tuned. We got we got some cool stuff in the works that I'm just, I don't know if I want to drop a hint on it right now, but I'm working on some stuff. Let me Let me just say that our boy Alex Rudd has dropped some merch on the Monster Bass store starting yesterday. And you guys, if you got an MB box, you're going to get a Monster Bass, uh, a sticker from Alex Rudd. Alex Rudd's beautiful bearded face. So go check that He's out. If you got your box, stay tuned for it. Yeah. And there's merch on the store on monsterbass.com. So go check it out. And uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe somebody else you know that's on YouTube might be on that store eventually. So I don't know. Stay tuned. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But hey, thanks for hanging out with us again tonight, guys. And we will see you next week. Chaz, take us out. Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile because in my heart it's not worthwhile. It's a bloody battlefield where some go down on the sea. All the same, all you can do is play the game. Do we say goodbye? Refuse to question why. I've said to say I'm sorry, so lie. Pretend that you're okay. Swear that you will stay. Keep trying for one day. Okay.
five feet and force me down a dead end street when all I had went up in flames, burning on the dark remains. I cover up every part of my skin, oh, cause I don't like the person within, oh, I know I'm the one to blame, all I can do is take the shame, oh, do we say goodbye, refuse to question I'm too sad to say I'm sorry, so lie And pretend that you're okay Swear that you will stay Keep trying for one day Got enough of every melody, they all sound the same. Yeah. For my broken heart, no remedy. But maybe if you stay, we can get away with it. Cause you make me love my imperfections. Answer all my questions just to show me what's on the other side of inhibition. You'll be there, ready to rescue me if I go out of track. I can get away with it. Cause you make me love my. 